It's time to hack the movies. Today, we're talking about tapes. Talking about tapes. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Talking About Tapes. Uh, Justin, what are you reading there? Why, Harry Polarity and the Sinister Sorcery Satire. Ah, what is that about? Uh, this is from Revival Fire Ministries, and it's about how Harry Potter is witchcraft, and oh. how you should also not like Japanese manga. I'm on board. I'm on board. And I love this because the Hermione character, mini uh, manager, she says, Oh, quit bugging, Ari. This is one slamming story. The pages with me are the bomb. I can't wait to read that. It's very 2001. It's yeah. very Jesus. You know what I have not read? Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. But you know what I have rewatched? Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone because it is the 20th anniversary. Yay. Of this movie, bringing this Harry Potter to a worldwide audience and irritating Tony to no end. Yeah. Maybe if you read the books. Uh... So I usually try to read the books based off the movies and stuff. I don't always. I There was a show that I used to watch. Uh, and this one time they were covering uh, the comic series Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> and then nobody in the episode actually bothered to read the comics. Hmm. But one guy said he saw Eat, Pray, Love the weekend it came out. So he thought he was more qualified than me. And I learned from that that you should probably read the source material. I wonder why I wasn't invited to do that. Because remember that whole thing where I got that Ramona statue? Yeah, I don't know. I was like, I was super I into it. We cosplayed know. and saw the midnight premiere. Remember? We did that together. Yeah, we did. We did. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But I learned from that that you should have at least one person who read the book. Maybe some women. So you read the book, right? Yes. Justin, have you, have you read the book? All seven. Nice. I was going to say, aren't there eight? And then I remember the, yeah, yeah no, that was actually movie. my phone. <laughs> no, hold on one second. Well, there's a uh, cursed child, which I don't care about. And N then the... No, absolutely not. Yes. Um, so yeah, we, we have you here because you're a Potter nerd. You are less of a Potter nerd, but you've read the source material. I was one of those edgy kids that didn't like Harry Potter. Oh, so you're still an edgy so when, kid, I guess. When, when this came out, this was kind of made for you. This was like middle school, right? Uh, I was at that age where like, like I knew it was too programmed to be made for me. And I was, I just rejected it. Oh, I was all, like, I guess Harry Potter. This was like a lot of like kids, like introduction to like magic stuff. Or and fantasy, I like, yeah, but witchcraft. Yes. <laughs> but like, I had already like, like the earliest like fantasy thing I can remember is Conan the Barbarian. So when you start with that, like oh fucking God. when you start with Arnold, like cutting off snake people's heads. Yes, yes I agree. But however, uh, in, uh, let's see, we have Tim Todd here. The, uh, yeah. what is he? A minister? He, he says that Harry Potter includes sacrificing animals. Uh, emphasizing power regardless of good or evil. Wait, when? Uh, so I don't know. Uh, <laughs> being possessed by demons, interacting with werewolves, vampires, bringing an evil wizard back to the dead through shedding of blood, uh, projecting or traveling without transportation, casting spells and levitation, shifting humans in animal form, div uh, divining by crystal gazing, telling lies, stealing, breaking rules, cheating, advocating wizard ethics by copying another student's homework, approving of astrology... <laughs> well, I'm with him charms, on that. Fuck astrology. Believing death is just the next great adventure and teaching people uh, pe people can exist without their souls. So this seems like a pretty badass story, this <laughs> Harry Potter. It is not presented that way. I don't know. It just it just seemed like it was two for kids. And I was at that age where I'm like, this is See, isn't... in the beginning, it definitely was. But then it literally overall gets darker and darker. Yeah, but I wasn't Bye. on board in the beginning. So I eventually saw all the movies. You should have read the books. Or at every least read the first one. Like every cried. couple of years, I got fucking sandbagged with a girlfriend who was real into Harry Potter, and then I would have to catch up on the goddamn movie so I could see the new movie in theaters. Yeah. Or I was trying to impress some girl. Oh, that one girl I never even hooked up with, and I watched. The Why last would you impress them? I don't know. For Just, Harry, what? I don't know. You're weird. The more I find out about like your dating stuff, so like number one, I dodged a bullet. Number two, like you're so weird. This girl talked about Harry Potter all the time. Like, well, so, I better, I better oh, want to get into that too. Do you know how many times I, I hear Ian finish, talk about stuff? I better finish the Harry Potter movies so I know what's going on. And then I never even hooked up with her. I'm like, wow, I just wasted four hours of my life. I, I will say, <clears throat> I will say, book three, it starts getting way darker, and it's and, so good. That's my favorite book. And by the time you get to yeah, three's good, and I love uh, seven, the movie Deathly Hollows Part, part mm -hmm. One, just because of how fucked up it is. They all blend together for me. Oh. 
I think I like two the most, and then they all blend really? together. Really? It's Ew. got a big snake. It reminded me of Conan the Barbarian. That's true. A, a basilisk. <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah, and like you got to admit, some of you fans are pretty insufferable when these are coming out. Oh, we're oh, yeah. psychotic. Yeah. Like <laughs> it's, 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 it's up. It's almost there with Star Wars. When you know, I used to hate J.K. Rowling, but I, never in my wildest dreams could I think the person who would break Harry Potter's fans' minds would be the person who made Harry Potter. That turf I ne I never thought that she would become all of your guys' enemy, and I'm like, this. I'm like, she has pissed off. I tried so hard to piss off Harry Potter fans, and I will never even come close to what she did. It was like the long con. See, I started... She ruined all these oh people's lives by making them weirdos, and then she completely turned on them. I started not liking her when she said Dumbledore was gay, not in the books. Oh yeah, she's one of those. Like she's I'm an ally, or oh my god, the one thing she said was like, oh yeah, there were Jewish children at uh, Hogwarts too, and then she was like, yeah, and then I forgot what the first name was, but last name Goldstein. And I'm like, that is the most generic fucking name. What do you think about that, Silverman? <laughs> I'm just glad to be included. Tony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you hear that J.K. Rowling was actually going to go up with SpaceX and go into space? Oh my oh, god, really? yeah, uh, astroturf. You like that? That's a good joke. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, so guys, uh, when I did um, mm. getting on the slide, it turns out that uh, the, the, the character Kitty, I, I'm now letting everyone know that she was lesbian. Even though that's not anywhere in the film, it's not mentioned. I just want you the to know. Girl the girl with the guy? Yeah, as the creator of this, I've now decided she's lesbian, and that is now canon. You know what? I just got a message on my phone. Yeah. Um, Christopher Nolan has come out and said that your character... And Dark Knight Rises in the background. Yeah. Now gay. He was always gay. Oh, your character. I know you were playing him. I know you're a method <laughs> actor. I get that. But now it's come out. When I was in the crazy. football stadium, I was like, Gotham does not have enough representation. My character is gay. <laughs> Gotham needs a few more gay bars. Oh, you know, Mummy Cop? Yeah. Um, Frankenfed? Uh, he's bi. There's already gay characters in Mummy Cop, but I decided I needed more gay characters. Am I doing the J.K. Rowling thing right? Mm. Hey, you know, talking about tapes, yeah. Johanna, completely heterosexual. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, J.K. Rowling, I can't believe she is now the person Harry Potter fans hate the yep. most. It's so beautiful. Good old just I wish Rowling. you just shut up and just went away. Like, the more she opens her mouth, the more it's like, oh my god, Joanne, shut the fuck up. <laughs> She's British. S mm -hmm. Is that her name? Joanne. That's Joanne why. Kathleen Rowling. Okay, okay. I That makes sense. Okay, so, I did not read the book. You read the books. Where were they? Like, mid-90s? When did they come out? 98? Like, or? yeah, end of, nine, uh, end of the 90s, whatever, and then the movie started coming out, and I think it was like 2003? Yeah. 2001. 2001. 2001. I remember 2001. I know because I worked there. You did? Did you know that I worked at a movie theater? You worked at a movie theater? Justin, yes. can you go on a long-winded story about working at a movie theater? Yes. I worked at a movie theater with my friend, he who should not be named. Um, this was right after 9-11, so we're you know, running around like chickens with their head cut off, like changing things, moving things around. They can't right. Spider-Man. And this was, and uh, Lord of the Rings came out, I think, the same year. Yes, we are covering Lord of the Rings. I'm currently listening to the book of that read by Andy Serkis. Yeah. Oh. So it was a huge deal. Yes. And we didn't expect this movie to pop off the way it did. Because I was in high school at the time, so I didn't like care too much about Harry Potter. Mm. I'm like, oh, you know, it's fine. And the guy who directed Home Alone 2. Yes, it's Chris Columbus. Yeah. Crazy that he founded America. He found America, and now he... <laughs> and they took away his holiday. He took his holiday. Us away. Italians, like... like <laughs> look, I get getting rid of Chris... Like, I get it. I understand. I don't really care. But could Italians, could you give us a replacement holiday? We didn't even get a replacement holiday. Uh, anyway, keep going. Yeah. So anyway, uh, we didn't know how big it was going to be. And my theater was at the mall and, we, and you know, during holiday season. And we got destroyed. We, we had this movie running in like five theaters at once. And oh, back wow. then it was in 35 millimeter film. Mm -hmm. And they only had one print. Oh, God. So what they would do is they would run the print through all the projectors around the building at once using, like, this pulley system kind of a thing. Holy shit. And so now you're... But, but now all your show times are only, you know, a minute off from each other because that's by the time it gets to the next theater. Yeah. So now you have thousands of people coming in and out and out, and you can't clean theaters in time. Like, we're ushers. We're like, oh, my God, what do we do? And back then we had these uh, kid packs. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, I yeah. It, it's a little... 
um, cardboard thing we'd have to fold, like busy work. Yeah. And then they put a scoop of popcorn, a little mm. soda, a little treat, and like a toy, like whatever. Mm. Um, and that was a kid pack. And we didn't get the Harry Potter ones. Can I guess which ones you used? Yeah. Titan AE? Yes, they were Titan AE kid packs. And mind you, you might laugh at Titan AE because um, they, they thought that was going to be big, so yeah. they ordered too many. Um, but that only came out a year before this. Yeah. People forget like 2001 was practically the 90s. Yeah. But yeah, so I mean, that's a, I don't know. Uh, and mentally, I guess. But so what ended up happening is so you're going in a theater and there's just hundreds, thousands of these kid packs everywhere. And you can't like clean them you just got to pick them up and there's soda and there's goop and it's awful so what we had to do is we had to get on um landscaping like gas powered um uh, leaf blowers yeah and we would just shoot all the popcorn candy and soda that was left down the, this is before stadium seating so down all the way and we push. oh it yeah when it was on a slam yeah, it was on yeah. A slam. and we oh. push it under the screen and we'll be like that's someone's job to clean later that's like a midnight thing when all the shows on. So we would do that because then we could clean a theater yeah. in like 10 minutes, not half an hour. Because usually there's a break between them. Yeah. But no, they're doing back-to-back shows because they had to line all the theaters up. Um, God, I'm so funny, glad I missed this th- in theaters. Remember, remember mini M&M tubes? Mm-hmm. Mini mm-hmm. M&Ms? I, w- I would put them in the 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 uh, leaf blower. And then when you remove your finger, it would go, choo! And I was doing it with the theater, like fucking around. Mind you, I'm in like high school, I don't care. And I do it, it goes, and it just shoots right through the screen. <laughs> That's really smart, Justin. And I don't know if you know, these screens are like $50,000. and Yeah. So someone's like, what happened to the screen? I'm like, fucking kids, man. These Harry Potter kids. Someone probably threw a fucking a, a broom into it. <laughs> Patronus hit that shit. I don't know. So did you end up watching the movie? Yes. I watched it like 20 times because okay. we had to make sure it was running. And no. back then I did. And Oh, yeah, because I remember people used to stand in the back of the Regal we went to and make sure that the film was actually like still yeah. going on. Oh, yeah. They would have to like go and actually like um, monitor it. The mm. next year I actually became a projectionist, and Harry Potter 2 was the first one I ever built. Mm. So I had to watch that like so many times to make sure it was fine. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so that's my movie theater story. I did not see this in theaters. I did. Uh, a bunch of my friends were seeing it, and my mom was like, you want to go see that Harry Potter? And I said, no. Yeah. I just straight up went, no. I'm like, it looks pretty lame. I'm not going to lie. Uh, eventually, I want to say the next, we were, this came out when we were in sixth grade, right? Yeah. Seventh grade, it was one of those things where like the teacher like brought in a movie for like a half day or something and they put on Harry Potter and like everyone was real excited and I'm watching it and I'm like, this sucks. So yeah. It's like, it really sucks. It's a shame uh, you can't enjoy things actually meant for people your age because, you know, your mom was very abusive to you. I and had to watch. Forgive your mother. <laughs> I was severely was graphic. Wait, 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 wait. I was watching stuff age appropriate because we reviewed Shrek and I really like Shrek that came out that year. But Shrek, Shrek there was a lot of adult stuff in there. Yeah. Shrek was for everybody. Yes. Yes, I did not like specifically made for kids things with exceptions. Yeah, because um, you watched super gory and graphic stuff as a child. With yeah, like a cool guy. Anyway, uh, so I have not seen it since uh, that day, and I remember hating it. Um, I've seen the sequels. I've seen them all, like, I saw four in theaters and six in theaters, and then every other one I saw was, like, a year or two after they already came out. Mm. Um, yeah, and I decided to rewatch it. Now, we have this lovely VHS tape here from Kevin Jones, who he donated a bunch of tapes to us. What's his show again? Peg Warmers. Peg Warmers. I hear that's a really great podcast. Yeah, they talk about yeah. toys and action figures and all the adult toys you could ever dream of. <laughs> Peg Warmers, great show. Uh, but I did not watch the VHS version on HBO. So, uh, shout out to the fan. I forget your name off the top of my head. I'll probably show a graphic here. Shout out to the fan who told me about Magical Movie Mode, which I then told you about. Yeah. Voldemort. Voldemort. And I was like, this exists. And we watched the trailer. And uh, so I watched Magical Movie Mode. So you watch it. Wait, what is this? This is on HBO Max. Okay. So you watch the first movie. And then randomly, Chris Columbus will pop up and be like, this is how we did this scene. Isn't it cool? And then it shows you uh, deleted scenes. Oh. Uh, but then there's little facts they give you oh, at pop- the bottom Some of the, of the facts that pop up, though, like pop aren't up relevant video. for that movie. Oh. Yeah. 
Oh no, because this uh, it, it became abundantly clear while watching this. This is meant for someone who's seen these movies like 50 times. And then there was like a little trivia to keep score. I forgot to tally up my score, but I was keeping score. The problem is this they're like probably like two. Yeah, they're like award yourself 25 points whenever you see the golden snitch in a scene that's not supposed to be in. And then when I heard that, I was like, but I don't know what scenes it's supposed to be in. This is going to be very hard. <laughs> Uh, so I was like, this seems like the worst way to watch this movie. So that's what I did. I will say I do appreciate that they are eventually going to put all the like Blu-ray features, DVD feature kind of stuff on streaming services because that's all it's missing right now. Yeah. You know what else they do? Whenever there's like a big like quote that mm. was really popular, they have animated words come out. Oh, my God. Like, you're a wizard, Harry. It's weird. Uh. So that's how I watched it. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> let's start with this movie. Uh, the movie starts and Chris Columbus, sorry, magical movie mode starts and Chris Columbus says, I hope this movie brings back good memories. And I said, it doesn't. So then uh, Dumbledore shows up and there's a lady there who's a cat, magic lady. McGonagall. Mm hmm. You guys are going to have to remember. I could not remember a single goddamn like I, I, I struggle to remember the names. I know she's the lady from Hook. So she's magic lady. Uh, so they're showing up in this uh, neighborhood it's and then uh, Robbie Coltrane shows up as Hagrid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I I like that you say it right, but you're spelling oh, oh. in your notes. My my phone kept auto correcting Hagrid, on, to Haggard. It, no, it's not even ha like Mike Haggard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Haggard. Like he's like, Haggard. I gave up. I gave up. I'm like, I whatever. So Robbie Coltrane, who was in Goldeneye. Yeah, Valentine. Which we have a review of. The best Dumbledore. What? They, they changed No, no, doors. Robbie Coltrane. Oh, I thought, never mind. Ignore me. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? I'm talking about, uh, was it Richard Harris? Or yes, 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 yes. Uh, he's only in the first two because he tragically died. He was, he was really sucks. He was pretty old. I don't know why they thought he was going to stick around for he eight movies. He was supposed to be old. I know, but... So. Um, but yeah, I like Robbie Coltrane. If you want to see a good movie with magic, he's in Kroll. Yeah. Kroll is so fucking underrated, and I hate everyone who hates Kroll. You know Kroll's good because they had the Kroll in Ready Player One. That It's not the Kroll, it's the Glaive, you asshole. You know, the Kroll from Kroll. <sighs> <laughs> so they're like, all right, we got this baby here, and Hagrid's on a motorcycle. Is it a human-sized motorcycle? How does he ride that? He's just big. It's He's enchanted. Big. Well, let uh, me tell you, if you're big, you ain't riding the motorcycle ride at a... Universal Studios, Harry Potter, they kicked me off that one. I'm too big for that. And the other one, too. And you blame Universal Studios for this, right? I blame society. <laughs> no, I think it's bullshit. <laughs> Everyone's fat nowadays. It is what it is. You need to it's, make the rides accessible. It's true. It's true. Well, one, it's your fault. You really got to get back. In, you got to get in shape, buddy. Um, second, mm. Universal Studios should look at the Harry Potter fan base and be like, we should make these rides a little bit bigger. <laughs> we should make these rides a little bit bigger. JK not Rowling. you, not you specifically. J.K. Rowling got me. <laughs> I can fit on the ride, so. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they drop off the baby at a house, and they're like, this baby lives here now. Yeah. And the scar. Uh, actually, uh, Professor McGonagall is complaining about leaving the baby there because Why? she's been watching them all day, and they're terrible people. Why are they leaving the baby? What was the point of leaving the baby there? That was fucking stupid. It's his only family that's left. Hogwarts doesn't have like a foster care system, like a magical foster and, care system. Uh, Isn't that weird? It's, it's weird. Also, spoilers. Technically, there's this whole thing about he had to go with someone with his uh, shared blood because there was a blood curse. Technically, with Voldemort because uh, his mom sacrificed himself, yeah, or herself, whatever, uh, to save Harry, and so Voldemort can't touch him. Like he can't get through to the thing. Even though technically Voldemort's supposed to be dead, but Dumbledore always knew something was up. Uh, it, by the way, the bad guys are stupid in all these. It's so easy to kill Harry Potter. And, and also, when she wrote this, she didn't know about all the Horcrux and all the other things she wanted to do in no. Book Seven. So theoretically, it was just a dumbass decision. Yes, uh, the baby scar is digital. They couldn't put the latex. Yeah, stuff no on shit. The baby. It's a baby. I he was gonna be like, get this the frick off me. So Chris Columbus's little pop in store in this magical movie note mode, he like really spells out the obvious as if it's still 2001. Like I got a part coming up where he's like, Can you believe this is CGI? And I'm like, Yeah, <laughs> I can believe it. Um <laughs> Harry is now a teen who lives under the stairs, and his cousin is a dick. He's 10. Yes, he's 10. That's not a teen. 
whatever. He's now older. His cousin was recently in that uh, movie with Tom Holland and uh, the guy played Pennywise and Robert. He Pattinson. was also in that. The Devil You Know All the Time, or I think it's called. He was also in the uh, the chess show on Netflix. Um, oh, the uh, the Queen's Gambit. Yes, Queen's Gambit. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I I forgot who that was as an actor, so I don't really yeah. care. So he's just the worst. Yeah. Spoiled uh, little shit. Yeah, he's running up and down the stairs. He hates Harry Potter. Uh, he's like, "Fuck you, Harry Potter! You live in the wake up. We're going to the zoo." Uh, yeah, they're British. Yeah, uh, his uncle is played by that actor whose name I can't remember, who's now dead, but I, I really I, liked I, him. I like him. Yeah, yeah, he was uh in Pirates Four. He was like uh, King George oh, or something. Yeah. <laughs> um, so they go to the uh, the zoo mm -hmm. and they're talking to a fake snake. And mind you, this is a couple years after Anaconda. There is no reason the snake should look this fake. Yeah. This is a terrible snake. Mm. This looks awful. Were you tricked into this as a kid? Did you sit there? I didn't care. I was like, oh, magic, wizard yeah, stuff. Yeah, but you're seeing like, it in like beautiful HD, like 20 years after. Yeah. That's not fair. But even in the theater, like it looks better in the theater. Sure. It's 30, yeah, 35 film, yeah. But, yeah. You, you know, Ghost of Mars looked good. <laughs> You know, that's around the same time. So yeah, he's like talking to the snake. He's like, holy shit, I'm talking to a snake. And right yep. away, I'm like, well, clearly Arnold needs to cut his head off because snake people are evil. Right. Uh, and then what the fuck happens? He turns the... He makes the glass invisible for like, so he okay. falls in. And then his, his cousin falls in and the snake gets away and thanks him. Thanks. Any time. Nope. Yeah. Thanks. Apostle tongue. He consented. I feel bad. Being that, snake, that snake like probably died afterwards. Oh yeah, it's English. Yeah, cold. Some probably ate him. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna let you out. And it's like, okay, this is not my habitat. Uh, oh my god, I'm frozen. Or like just a park person was like, oh, I got the snake. <laughs> so it's like, good job, Harry. Now that snake hates Harry. He's like, that motherfucker promised me hope. <laughs> oh my god. And <laughs> it's it's like Bane in Dark Knight Rises. Oh I'm gonna give god. you a little bit of hope, and then I'm gonna take it away. <laughs> Yeah. People said that is that snake supposed to be the other snake that's it's evil? It's not. I remember seeing things about that. Oh, it's Nagini. not. No. Yeah, it's absolutely separate. not. I didn't think it was, and then I saw that not. picture, and I'm like, I don't think that's right. Absolutely not. Um, yeah, Harry is uh, sad because he's going to go to some lame school, uh, but then he gets a letter. Lame for, school. Yeah, because the the parents are like, we're going to send him to this school, yeah, like, like, it was like normal like human school. school. Yeah. They say normal human school. Uh, but then some owls drop off a letter and his uncle's just like, nope. And he tries to burn the letters. Uh, so is this, all right, let me know if this is a deleted scene. So in magical movie mode, a boot would show up and I wasn't paying attention to the intro for what these things were. Uh, and then it would turn all glittery and then there'd be a border around everything. So I assume this is a deleted scene where she's cracking the eggs and the letters are inside the goddamn Yes, yeah, so that's eggs. a deleted scene. That's deleted. Yeah. That's deleted. That's horrifying. So are are the wizards taking like unborn baby owls and turning them into these letters? Yes. Aren't owls in danger? Like apparently not in this movie because they're everywhere. They're fucking everywhere. <laughs> and owls are not fucking endangered. Maybe some species of owls. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the 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 uncle goes pretty much nuts. Uh, and then the owls try to murder the family by drowning them in letters. I want to know why he's just standing on the table. I know it looks cool for the shot and everything, but like there are letters everywhere. Just grab a handful off the ground, shove them in your pants mm. and run. Like <laughs> I do like that that was done practically. They had like a giant mm -hmm. air cannon and they just like shot those. Fucking just letters. like I shot the movie theater. Just screen. like you shot. <laughs> With the leaf blower. <laughs> Okay, so now the family is in a weird tower in the middle of the ocean. How did they get there? What is that? They drove there and they had a rowboat and went across. Do they own that? It's in the book. I think uh, they just rented it, if I remember they, correctly. Yeah, or like someone knew someone and yeah. they, it was something weird. And then it turns into the movie The Lighthouse. It really does. Hark! <laughs> uh, so yeah, finally they just fucking send Hagrid, which they should have did right in the... Like, after like the first two letters got ignored... Why were they just sending letters? Someone yeah, should have been like, let's just go get it, him. You know what? It's probably an automated system. It's like letter did not send, send move, and it just kept stacking. <laughs> it was probably some computer program. At some point, they're going to be like, hey, we're like, so the wizards, our owls are all gone. The wizards didn't update their software to Y2K compliance. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, okay. So they just sent so much more. 
So Hagrid shows up. Uh, he brings Harry a cake because it's his birthday. Uh, and he explains his job. And as far as I can tell, he is Willie from The Simpsons. Did I get that right? <laughs> he's a groundskeeper. Mm. Yeah. He is a groundskeeper. And he's Scottish. He lives in a shitty shed. Why did they give him such a tiny shed? He's such a big guy. Because that's where the groundskeeper usually lives. They didn't expect him to be 20 feet tall. Why does Hogwarts suck? Yeah. Well, they I really mean, suck. Why are they so to like... To be fair, he's the groundskeeper that builds stuff. He could make his own place. He just likes it. It's cozy. Yeah. Mind you, he also has giant animals, and he's kind of a crazy person. And he's also living there for free because of events we find out in the third... No, second yeah. movie. Yeah. He like... The, Hogwarts sucks, and yes. they need to update all their shit. And also, it's called Hogwarts... Kind of gross. Yeah, mm, I'd rather go to Actually, pig farts. In this, it's uh, anybody. Hold on, no one. In this, it's pig zits. It's pig zits. It's Lord Vulgar Mouth, and it's uh, instead of Dumbledore, it's dumb it down, as in dumb down uh, Christianity, which is the light. Well, that sounds great. Uh, you get the pig farts reference. No, what is it? Oh damn! Nope. Here's Harry Potter. Harry Potter playing. musical. No, I didn't watch the musical. There's a musical. Oh, <sighs> right. Wait, is not the thing from? Is that different than the Harry Potter puppet pals or whatever? It's different. It's different. It's different. Okay. Yeah. So I don't care about that. I don't know what that is. No. Oh. Um. But yeah, it's Harry. Suck. Harry finds out that he's a wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. And his aunt, who is the lady from Super Mario Brothers, yes. the movie. She's also in True Blood. She's also in True. She's Marnie the Witch mm -hmm. in True Blood. In, in Mario, she gets blown through the asteroid like on the side. Fucking um, Clayton went to the bar where in North that, Carolina. Welcome yeah. to North Carolina. Yeah, it's it's the things on the bar. Still. Yeah, he went to the bar where it was. He sent me a picture of it because that's the bar where all the crew would drink afterwards. Yeah. So they just left shit there. So he's a wizard, and the aunt talks about how she hated her sister for being a witch. Yeah, because her sister got all the attention, and she wanted the attention. Why are they taking care of Harry then? Why didn't they just get rid of him? Read the books or watch the movies. I did watch the movies. I can't remember. Because they still feel bad about Like, they can't be evil. They're just like, oh, fucking, that kid sucks. I it's kind of like your parents. <laughs> <laughs> they can't get rid of you, but they'll fuck Also, up. I hate that it's witches and wizards. Sh Sexist. It should be witches and warlocks. Oh my or God. just, why can't they all just be wizards? That's true. This isn't even a social justice thing. It just doesn't make sense to me. I'm like, wizards, warlocks. Witches, wi it doesn't, Speaking right? Which, did they ever remake that movie, Witches? From 1990? Yes, like, they did. Did they? With uh, Anne Hathaway. Anne, I was going to say it's and Robert Hathaway. Zemeckis no. directed it. I hear it's bad. It's bad. Uh, I love the original. Um, By the way, this movie is a fucking ripoff of the worst witch, right? Yes. With Tim Curry. Tim Curry. Oh, Tim Curry. Jessica, please play a clip of Tim Curry's Halloween song from the worst witch. Anything can happen on Halloween. Dog could turn into a cat. Anything can happen. No, fuck Halloween. it. Let's remake it. Actually, uh, Rocco from Mix Mega 64 mm -hmm. remade that entire thing shot for shot. He did? We got to show a little clip of that. It's okay, okay. Anything can happen on Halloween. Your dog could turn into a cat. So uh, a muggle is what Harry's family is. Yeah. And he Not goes, magical people. Uh, it's, it's non magic folk. And it sounds like a slur. It's not a it slur. Is. A lot it's of the things. It's a lot. A lot of the things in these um, movies, there's a lot of like classism so and whatnot. I'm muggle, like, this feels like slurs. Muggle is not a slur, but mud blood is. Mm -hmm. Oh. But muggle's a slur if you're like a Death Eater. Oh. Because you don't like It's like very. <sighs> okay. You know what it's like. Uh, <laughs> so he turns uh, fucking. Harry's cousin into a mouse or something. It's a pig. Sure. Uh, now you said the Wizarding World. It's is a curly tail. It's a mouse. What are you? Trent, I was so distracted by all the popping up stuff. Yeah, on the you're screen. just an idiot. It really felt like pop up. Video. Why didn't you just watch the normal movie? Pop up. Because video. I wanted to be angrier. <laughs> um, Jessica, I just have random facts about bullshit pop up throughout this whole episode. <laughs> Um, Justin's favorite color is. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what's my favorite color? Pink. It's purple. Purple. Have words just I don't know, appear I'm used to as we're saying them. With the pink. Okay, so the Wizarding World is supposed to be secret. Yep. Why is the giant walking around in broad daylight? Half giant. He's just like he's just a really big dude. But that's like. Did you talk shit about 
uh, Andre the Giant when he was walking no, around? No, he's bigger He's bigger than Andre the Giant. It doesn't matter. Like, you're just going to talk shit about... How, no, no, what if he was some normal dude and you're like, oh, this, no, this no, large there's man. There's a difference. You know what? Next time I'm going to see you in the street, I'm going to tell somebody to be like, yo, can you just say look at that large man and see how you feel? There's a difference between, like, people who are actually, like, with giganticism. Is that what they call it? Yeah. Uh, because, you know, their limbs aren't super proportionate and stuff. Like, you could tell. But he is like a fully proportionate, just giant, beefy guy. Yeah, that's like that's like Simpsons reference, where you remember when Nelson makes fun of the guy in the tiny car. He's like, "That's the smallest automobile I can oh. afford," and he's like this giant. <laughs> but he is clearly a monster. Oh, and I- <laughs> giants aren't the half giants aren't monsters. They're part of the whatever the magical. Universe. A normal human would be like, "That's a monster." They were looking at him. Yeah. And he's weird. He's exposed them. It's a difference between like if you see like an actual little person and a hobbit. Like a hobbit just looks like a normal person shrunk down. And he's like the opposite of that. Into a weird conversation. I'm just saying the wizarding world is supposed to be secret, and we got a giant just walking around in broad daylight. It's a little inconsistent with the rules. Oh, fine. Cool. Well, he couldn't have a I look like a regular size guy spell. Why is he? No, because walk- he doesn't. He can't use magic technically. Why is he walking anyway? Doesn't he have a flying bike? Why the fuck are they walking everywhere? Because the Muggles can't see a flying bike. Let's go higher up into the air. That's true. They had a flying car mm-hmm. situation in the next one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they do. Thank you. Yeah, and they got in trouble. Uh, and had to wipe the memories of all the Muggles. So everyone seems to know who Harry Potter is. Like Men in Black. Like, holy shit! You're Harry Potter. You're great. And he should be like, cool. Why did no one get me from under those stairs? You guys all seem to be really cool, but when I needed you, you weren't there. Thanks. Ho, 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 gentlemen. The holidays came early here at Manscaped, the leading men's hygiene brand. Manscaped just launched new products, including their all new ultra premium body wash and a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. It's time to give yourself or someone who needs it the gift of beautiful skin, hair, and balls this holiday season, go to manscaped.com and use code hack the movies for 20% off and free shipping. Jingle balls to the walls, fellas. <laughs> and Johanna, listen up. Untrimmed pubes are a thing of the past. It's possible you have Santa's beard in your pants. <laughs> it's time to leave your significant other some cookies and milk at the bottom of your chimney. I'm talking about the Manscaped Performance Package 4.0. Hello, Johanna. Hello, Tony. So uh, our audience is very, very aware of how much I love Manscaped and shaving my balls. Uh, You shave your fiance's balls, I hear. I do. You do. Yes, I do. do. He doesn't feel comfortable doing it himself. No. What are some of the problems you run into when shaving your fiance's balls? I I sometimes nick him, so he's bleeding a lot. Um, It's a good thing we're not having children because I don't think they're going to work at this point. So you, you will never have kids because of poor shaving decisions in the past. But how has Manscaped made your life better? Oh, so much better. He barely complains about how his balls are sticking anymore. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, and, and super smooth down there. It's wonderful. And it smells great. It. Uh, I, I've heard. I've heard. I've heard good things. I wish I could smell them myself, but that would be weird. Anyway, inside the Performance Package 4.0, you'll find the signature lawnmower. You like that lawnmower 4.0, right? I, I love it. This electric trimmer has proprietary advanced skin safe technology to reduce cuts on your nuts. Yeah. And I'm sure your fiance appreciates it. Oh, 100%. It's also waterproof. Do you shave his balls in the shower? Yes, I am actually crouched down in the shower and we let the water run down and I'm just in yeah. there shaving. Seems very uncomfortable, but you know. We you fit. Do. It's fine. Yeah. So when you're shaving your balls, your your yeah. fiance's balls fiance's in the shower, balls, yes. it's good to know that you have a waterproof razor. It's like a gift to your partner with less mess. The Manscaped Performance Package 4.0 also includes the Crop Preserver and Crop Reviver and anti-shaving ball deodorant, moisturizer, and toner. It's time to keep your North Pole feeling and smelling fresh. House's Pole. Oh, it's so fresh. Nice. Yes. This is the season to load up on Manscaped products. So get yourself, your dad, your brother, and friends, or fiance, <laughs> the best gift of all, the Manscaped Performance Package 4.0. Is it his favorite thing you've gotten him? Oh, 100%. I need to buy more stuff. So luckily we have this code. Yes, we have this code. Hack the movies. You go to manscaped.com. You get 20% off and free shipping. It's wonderful. It. It's great. It's great. It's great. Every guy out there needs to add Manscaped to their wish list this season. Manscaped. 
20% off free shipping with code HackTheMovies at Manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at Manscaped.com and use code HackTheMovies. Clean up your nuts and make Santa proud this year. Ho, ho, ho. Is this a scene where someone's stirring their tea with a wand without touching it? I remember some, it was like, on. They, like, they go right away to Diagon Alley, right? And they're in like a, a, a pub or something? Yeah, he goes yeah. in uh, the leaky what, no, cauldron. Before that, before that, they're in the pub. The leaky cauldron. Yes, yes. And that's where um, they meet, uh, they meet Turban Guy, who is. Uh, Quirrell. What's his name? Quirrell. Turban Guy? He's what is wrong turban. with you? He's literally wearing a turban, is he not? What's his name? Carl? Quirrell. I'm sorry to Quirrell, say the name man. Carl in front of you, Justin. I know that's very triggering to you. Uh, Quirrell. Okay, I will not call him Turban Guy for the rest of the thing. Quirrell. I like Turban Guy. <laughs> I say we go for it. Well, they're wrong with wearing a turban. Just, that's what he's wearing. Talking shit about large people. <laughs> little people. Uh, yeah, so he Real has... Over here. Yeah, right? According to the uh, dumb trivia fact that popped up on screen, he uh, works in the defense against the dark arts. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. professor. It's how many how many how many dark arts people are there out there? Like how often do they run in that problem? Well, Teacher the, wise? Yeah. No, the dark arts thing was it wasn't just fighting like w evil wizards and stuff or death eaters. It was also about like learning about like the creatures that could hurt you out there. Why like, haven't these wizards just taken over the world? What's stopping them? Why why would they? They're, they're trying, you know, it's like a balance kind of thing. I don't know why they're hiding. They're like, we're clearly superior to you and you guys can't do anything. We're the wizards. We're in charge. Like, I, I, like I, every other advanced civilization in the history of mankind. I think scared. They, they can do as much magic as they want, but they're not taking a nuke. What do you mean? They got a the little the time thingy. They're like, this is the mirror of. They can't just use it, though. This is, that messes with things. This is the mirror of turning nukes into bunny rabbits. They got, they got send, shit uh, for they it. They send a bunch of A-10s. They're going to send in like a fucking B-2 to carpet bomb Hogwarts. <laughs> Take that Hogsmeade. Yes. But then they go into Diagon, Diagon Alley. Diagon. Diagon Alley. Diagon. Uh, and I, I believe this exists in Universal Studios. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually really cool. Um, I'm not now, 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 in this version, it looks very, very cramped. Were you able to fit into the Universal Studios version of Diagon It's also Alley? cramped, I, I, actually. I will say, I will say barely. <laughs> and that's not like a size thing as a freakish large person, much like Hagrid. No. Or sorry, Haggard. Um, <laughs> because there's so many fucking tourists there. It's th like the whole thing is built so beautifully. You think you're actually there until you see all these awful, awful other humans that ruin it completely. Those muggles. Those, Those mudbloods. <laughs> but because because both parks are connected by the Ho the Hogwarts Express, mm -hmm. so you go through like King's Cross Station. Mm -hmm. You go through the stupid wall. You get on the train. It makes it you know there's there's a TV that's fakes like a window so it looks like you're actually going through a scene in the movie okay and then you show up in hogsmeade which is next to the actual castle so it's a whole like 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 i'm into really into like star trek and a lot of dumb shit if there was a park like that for, like if i was in the harry potter no. that is like mecca it's mm. so cool but if you're not it just it just sucks because you're like fuck i wish i had this have they ruined jurassic park yet at universal yes Street in yeah. orlando oh, oh no they have it in these now ones because this is like World. from the like when it first opened but i think the newer ones probably have it over this one but like apparently there's certain spots in like Diagon Alley and uh hogsmeade where you can actually like interact and do spells you do a like but i don't um, think this one works because it's wait, so old it, there's a gesture and, and things yeah. open up and wait wait shut up about this stuff uh the one in Orlando is also ruined? Yeah. They don't have the old visitor center anymore? I think they're upgrading everything. They've been working construction on it for a while. They put in the new coaster. Why would they? Now it's all the Jurassic Everything's World stuff. Everything's Jurassic World, yeah. But I liked being able to go to the visitor Yeah, everybody center. liked that too. Oh, you can go there. Remember in the movie when they destroyed it? But the Jeep so works and stuff? Uh, That's kind of what's going on. Yeah. Harry the Potter coaster World. looks cool. Harry Potter World used to be uh, just the medieval thing theme park there yeah i did enjoy yeah. uh waiting in line going on the um hogwarts ride or whatever where it's like that like coaster thing whatever that you're like rocking back yeah that was cooler when it was just the dueling dragons when, coaster when i was and now waiting Harry in Potter line shit. all i could hear was the jurassic park music next door and i'm like this is kind of ruining the immersion here <laughs> disney so anyway, would never <laughs> they're gonna put nintendo land there so anyway mm -hmm. harry needs to buy some stuff and he's got to go to the bank Justin, could you tell us about who runs the bank and describe them? Ooh. The goblins. Ooh. Warwick goblins? Davis is there. Goblins run Ooh. the bank? Yes. What do the goblins look like who Ooh. control all the money? Let's see. Uh, they're kind of small. Okay. They have giant noses. Giant noses. They're kind of like this. 
Okay. You know, okay. they're very deceptive. They love money. They seem to not want to share money. And... Mm -mm, very, very greedy. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. On certain holidays, none of them are there. That's weird. Um, yeah, they, they even say, like, the goblins. They're, what, do, what does Hagrid say about them? He's like they're 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 very mean or something. They're a good mensch. Never as they come, goblins, but not the most friendly of beasts. So they're mashugana. Mm. I for <laughs> no, it is fucked up. Like one hundred percent. I have no opinions. I just think these are mystical monsters in well, a fairy tale. This is this is this this a uh, uh, race of creatures. Uh, this non-human race of creatures yeah. is is very akin to the uh, the Volus and Mass Effect. The um, Ferengi in Star Trek. Oh, okay. It's one, it's one of those. Just a very capitalist, rich okay. race of well to do. See, I'm not really sure about all that, but I will trust your opinions, Justin Silverman. I mm -hmm. will trust your opinions on the goblins and Harry Potter. And, remember, oh. and one is Warwick Davis. Yes, and he is the other one. Three, three or so. He plays, like he plays three people. Yeah. Flitwick, the yeah. other goblin is Vern Troyer, but I think it's Warwick Davis's voice on him. Yeah, and then he shows up as a professor later. Yeah, a, a grip hook. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, but yeah, they so they go to the uh, goblins and they're like, "Here's all your money, Harry. You got a shit ton of money." And again, Harry should be like, "Why did my parents suck? Like, why, why couldn't they leave me with like anyone better? Like, what the fuck?" Yeah, his parents who died. Yeah, I'm sure that you know. If Harry thinking, Potter was, they're like in their 20s too yeah, when they died. But, they were but, not even. Supposed if Harry to be that Potter's old. is as important as he is, they should be like, well, you're going to like Hogwarts, and you're we'll bring well, your as you see with Hogwarts, it's very easily broken into. Mm. And put him in these vaults. They, they they assumed that if he was with his original family, no one would find him or because they didn't like know about that whole. thing. Yeah. So, but yes, he is a rich. Yes. Like, you know, but 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 if he. If he grew up like the rich, well-to-do wizard, whatever, he just turned into like Draco, and that's kind of the problem. I mean, it was all about Batman's uh, rich, and he turned out to be a good guy. That's true. Yeah, beating up mentally ill people. Oh, what are you gonna do? I, will say, <laughs> I do like the idea of wizard Batman. Yeah, like a really um, cool situation. Yeah. So after that, they go into a vault, and Hagrid takes a. What is that? He like grabs him. He's like, "Don't tell anyone about this." Well, it's a sorcerer's stone. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, yeah, it's the thing the movie's named after. Oh. He got it out because they heard there's an issue, so that's why they hide it back at the school, which also becomes an issue. Oh, I might have been distracted by all the stuff popping up. Yeah, on maybe that. you should watch the actual movie. Yeah, because it's Sorcerer's Stone. You yeah. know what I do appreciate on um, HBO Max? Yeah. That they actually number the movies, like in yeah. the thumbnail, so you actually know where... Well, okay, they do it on the VHS tape, year one. Oh, is that what it went year one? Yeah. Is that like Batman year one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Potter goes to buy a wand from John Hurt, the late John Hurt from yep. Alien. From Ollivanders. Yep. Yes. Uh, he, so Chris Columbus said on the commentary, like, this is like the one movie where, like, these old British actors were fine only appearing in it briefly because they knew it was going to be so big. Like, John Cleese has a small part. Like, yeah. Norm had this neck. Yeah, normally they'd be like, we want to be in the whole thing. We're not doing a glorified cameo. But then when they heard it was Harry Potter, they're like, fuck, I got to get in that. Uh, smart on their part, but this is also the only day J.K. Rowling showed up on on set was when Harry gets his wand and they it lights up and blows stuff around. Yeah, and then they're like, "This wand's brother is the one that almost killed you." And I was like, "Wands have brothers?" Yeah, they have different. Cores. Are they made yes. from the same tree? <laughs> yes. Okay. There's, phoenix. Yes, there's like because it's the same phoenix feather, and there's also you can do dragon heartstring. You can there's a lot of different cores. Which is the magical source of the power? Unicorn hair. Wait, it, it's like buying a gun. Oh, okay. It just fuels you with such power. And why did none of them have guns in this? They were soft. So yeah, many... Normally, whatever wands made, it only takes like one hair or one feather or whatever. And then this one just happened to have two from the same phoenix. Oh. So we find. But you get out... to meet that phoenix. Yes. So we find out about he who shall not be named Voldemort. A vulgar mouth. Voldy poo. A <laughs> vulgar mouth, and yes. In fact, vulgar mouth in the comic is always cursing, which is against oh. uh, Christianity. Yes, says that a few times. Do you know Tosh has a funny joke where he talks about meaning Jesus? I need <laughs> The fuck? <laughs> well, hurry up. Uh, Harry was thinking about how his parents were right and that within his own heart, he never really gave his life to Jesus in the first place. He only helped him. Uh. Anyway. 
That reminds me of the Daniel Tosh joke where he meets Jesus and Jesus is cursing and he's like, he's like, you swear? And he's like, yeah, where in the Bible does it say you can't swear? And Daniel Tosh is like, fucking nowhere. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, he tells him Voldemort was a guy who killed other wizards, I guess. Everybody. For what reason? What was he trying to do? He was trying to take over the world. He was trying to do like, get okay. rid of the muggles, make it pure blood. He, okay. He's, he's wizard Hitler. Yeah. Okay. okay. In like the 40s and 50s and yeah. Gotcha. Because there was a secret war going on while World War II is going on. Is that what is was that their excuse for not intervening and saving the rest not of the Not even that. Silver it's just like that was an excuse. <laughs> sorry, like they, sorry. They lost a lot of cobbles during that <laughs> war. Is that that that's the problem with a lot of these like things where like a secret society's been around forever. It's like, hey, where were you during this? And it's like uh, the sorry. The, Have you heard of the Eternals? Captain <laughs> yeah. America? Captain America was frozen. Oh, wait. No. no. Not well, anymore. No, he, was, he was at least fighting in mm. the war. No, he Captain America was fighting in the war. <laughs> Where was he during everything else? Well, he was frozen. No, not anymore. Oh, uh, that, whatever. Timelines, I don't care. <laughs> um, yeah, so, like, I like that they're, enough work. they're like, oh, wait, <laughs> people are going to ask why didn't the wizards... Stop the Holocaust and like, oh, because they were in another wizard war. They were too busy with the wizard. I think they war. also like uh, were able to blame other like terrible things that were happening, like people like dead or whatever. That like was because of, like the wizarding world stuff, or whatever, on like the actual Muggles because you know that yeah. happening at the same time. Yeah. There's kind of some stuff like in the subtext of it where it's like, oh, the wizards were also poisoning the minds of men, and it was like then you start getting kind of weird, mm. and it just just don't worry about okay. it. Okay. So yeah, he was bad, and he wanted to kill the Potters, and he just showed up to their house one day, I guess, with no soldiers or anything. He's very cocksure. He has a death spell. They, no, no. So this all happened like 10 years ago, and it's like... Oh, remember, this movie takes place in the 90s. Yes. It's so like 98, is, right? Yeah, so, th so this is like 88. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, and he goes to kill them, and I guess he killed them, but not Harry, and then he disappeared, and everyone thinks he's dead, but maybe not. Yep. And that's how Harry Potter got his yeah. scar. And you find yeah. out why later. Not in this movie or book. Yeah. Um, so they go to the platform nine and whatever. Three quarters. Yes. And I know they have that at the actual thing. You took a picture with it. Mm -hmm. Pop the picture up. There you go. Pop everyone's pictures up. I'm sure everyone in this office <laughs> has been there. <laughs> um, Wait, have they been to the real one, though? I don't because know. Because I went to the actual King's Cross Station and took the picture with it. Oh. Have everybody else just been into like Orlando or like Hollywood? No, no, I meant the actual one. Yeah, but has anybody else here actually been? Oh, to I don't know. I've never left the country before. I'm on a few mm. no fly lists. Yeah, I don't want to leave the country because America is like the best. That's another reason I we couldn't get, get into these. Stop putting your politics. Into I couldn't get into these. I'm like, why do I care about? Bro That's why I oh like Fantastic God. Beasts. I'm like, oh, finally, they're in America, a real country. <laughs> In the 20s. It was so bad. <laughs> those, those movies are so bad. The first one was fine. Nah. Yeah. I enjoyed it more than Harry Potter. There were no kids in it. It was pretty great. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, so, again, the wizarding world is supposed to be secret. They're just walking into a wall in front of people. So, they're supposed to be, like, super casual about it. I don't know why they turned it into, let's run at the thing real fast. They're so literally supposed to be like, all right, we're going over here, and we're in. But literally, a kid walks in and, like, Yeah, they're not supposed to do that. It might be a thing, like, only wizards can see that area. It, just don't worry about it. It's a fucking kid's book, man. Go for it. <laughs> So stupid. Uh, Harry meets Ron. Thunderpants. He meets Thunderpants. Uh, yes. Thunderpants? Yeah, he was in that movie Thunderpants about the kid who can't stop farting. Oh. Good movie. I didn't see that one. Uh, so now they're on a magic train, the Hogwarts Express, and uh, they're, they're best friends. Uh, they eat a shit ton you of- You also left out Hedwig. Oh, he's got an owl. You're allowed to bring an owl of toad- Come on, you can do it. And a rat. A mouse? What's the enemy? Snake? Keep going. You can have one in your house. You have one in your house. You have two in your house. Cat? There you go. Okay. <laughs> um, you did it. Yeah. I wouldn't say they're enemies, per se. <laughs> <laughs> Mice, the enemies of... Uh -oh. So yeah, he introduces he introduces whatever. Harry to his rat. He's like, "This is my rat." Doesn't that rat scabbers? That rat turns out to be a guy in a later yep. sequel, right? That's uh, creepy. Uh, that's why he's missing a finger. One of Har Harry's father's friends, who's also a dick bag. Yeah, I don't like. But not that. as bad as a dick bag as other dick bags. 
I remember being uncomfortable with that. I was like, oh my god, ew. Peter Pettigrew. Um, See, I remember this. And then Hermione shows up, and she's like, I'm S stunning. Sorry? Hermione. Hermione? Wait, this says mini, mini manger. Hermione. Hermione? Hermione. 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 Well, she shows up, and she's like, I'm stunning and brave and best at magic. Oculus repair room. Yeah, she is. And throughout the rest of the movie, they're like, she's These really two literally would be dead without her. Well, no, he's got that stupid spell, right? That protects him. Not From against, Voldemort. Only only against Voldemort curses, not against other things. Like, he could fall and die. Okay. Okay. So why don't the Voldemort or any of those guys... Because they're go, racist. Just go up to someone. They're racist. Get, whatever. You know how many times there's like an evil organization that will make deals with people they don't No, like? they're racist. They want Voldemort specifically <laughs> wants to do it himself because technically the kid humiliated him. And he needs to use magic because he's racist. Okay, are there any other bad guys out there who probably could benefit from Harry Potter dying? I Why mean, don't they just go like, oh, we're going to go. Second movie. Did you not watch the second movie? Uh, years ago. Hey, I'm going to go. Hey, Justin. Why are you reviewing this? Why are you here? Justin, uh, I'm going to bring my snake god into the universe, but yeah. Harry Potter might stop it. Let's go over to his house and shoot him. Yeah, I know it's a little hard to get a gun in the UK, but it's possible. I'm like, hey, we're going to go shoot him. Oh, but Tony, he'll do his spell of whatever. I'm just going to shoot him. Like, like Luke Sky. This is my thing. Like Luke Skywalker uses magic. But he will also shoot you in the face if he has to. The, the whole, like, we can only use magic thing. It's like, guys, like, stop it. Well, they don't know where the house is. It's not that hard to find. Well, it, this is like the, the 90s. They didn't really have good internet. And <laughs> you just walk around and be like, hey, you know where Harry Potter is? I'm like, oh, yeah, he lives over there. Oh, cool. Thanks. I'm going to go yeah, shoot Yeah, that's him. a good point. Like, it's like his actual name. Like, it's like, yeah, that's Harry Potter. It's kind of like Luke Skywalker in the Star Wars. Like, yeah. wait, you, you kept that. That was a little. I mean, Actually, they also didn't plan that out. I'm so. surprised one of the Dursleys wasn't like, it's like, hey, uh, you got $30 million? Because <laughs> I'll let you in at night and you can kill the kid under the stairs. Um, but yeah, so they, they get on little boats to Hogwarts. Can't they just fly? No. Like, what are, it's a it, ceremony. It's ceremony. Boats first year. Then you get on the uh, uh, the horsies, mm -hmm. but the horsies are invisible. also. Is this all like in another dimension? Where is this? Yes, it's it's in the English. It's far out in the English countryside, but it's in like a bubble that you can't see. Okay, so it's like and like if mascara. if Muggles get close, or whatever they'll be like, oh wait, I'm I don't want to go over way. here. I want to go this it's way. Like, there's like yeah. confusion spells and stuff. Oh, so it's basically Wakanda and Themyscira. Yes. Mm. Okay. Um. Or a Galt's Gulch in a uh, Atlas yeah. Shrugged, where they took all those ideas from. And uh, I'm mad that I know the Harry Potter houses. Gryffindor, Slytherin, yeah, Ravenclaw, we're, we're Ravenclaw, and... Your house. Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff. That's you. You're a Hufflepuff. Sure. H is Hufflepuff Ian's a Hufflepuff. So from what I can oh, tell... I can say that. So from what I can tell... Yeah. It's like, Gryffindor is... The good guys. Mm. It's the kids that always. Ravenclaw the is is nerds. Book nerds. Uh, Slytherin is bad guys. Yes. And I I assume Hufflepuff is the special needs program. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's how it's presented. <laughs> so I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So then, then. Oh Christ! <laughs> it's just, it's just, I haven't I haven't laughed so this much on the show since we're talking about uh, um, uh, 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 Lenny Kravitz. Lenny Kravitz dick. dick popping out of his pants. Jessica, can you show Lenny Kravitz's dick popping out of his pants again, please? So, um, <laughs> this is uh, part one of Johanna's sexual awakening. Mm. <laughs> so Joanna, uh, Draco Mal, oh my god, Dra Draco Malfoy shows. I up. wasn't into him in the first one. It was the second where I was like, oh, he kind of cute. His though. teeth are all fucked up in this first one. The British. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what, what, what about his dad? He's like that's like the mega evolution. Uh, of Draco. Oh my god, what's the actor's name again? Oh, but, uh, his name escapes me. But He's in. Um, wasn't he the smart guy in Armageddon? Is, uh, wait, was it Jason Isaacs? Yes. I think so, yes, 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 yes. yes. Wait, or is Jason Isaacs Voldemort? Who's Voldemort? No, no Voldemort's Ray, Ray uh, Fiennes. Ray is, Fiennes, yeah, yes. it's Jason Isaacs. So, yes, Draco Malfoy shows up, and you had, like, posters of this fucking guy. Mm-hmm. 
I had a shirt. I mean, so did my, I. My, uh, my AOL screen name was Mrs. Felton 713. Wait, that's, you know his name? What's his Tom name? Felton. Tom Felton. Thomas, o- Thomas Andrew Felton. I only know his name because she knew his name. I do like he showed Say up. Say his name. Yeah. He showed up <laughs> in one season of The Flash, and the MacGuffin of the season was the Philosopher's Stone. And I'm like, it's pretty funny. He, what was uh, the freaking Planet of the Apes thing, too, whatever? And he gets like. Murdered. Oh, he was in Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Yeah. He gets to do Charlton Heston's line. And then uh, he was in that awful ghost movie, mean you watched Apparition or something. It was fucking awful. Oh, it had to be really bad because I don't remember. It was a made for TV. I remember we were like super bored during it. It was awful. Uh, the sorting hat is stupid. Why do they need a sorting hat? Sure. Better be Gryffindor. It, 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 it I, I don't know. It, it, it tells it's deep like, within what your potential will be. That's also like shitty British boarding school stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what I was confused about. Is apparently all the outfits they wear and that kind of stuff, it's common for them to wear that in Britain. So there it's like not a big deal. And I was like, mm-hmm. oh, I thought this whole world was like, I never knew this all yeah. existed. So I thought it was like way more intelligent and cool that J.K. Rowling came up with all this stuff. And nope. they're like, oh no, it's just this thing. She just took the stuff that already existed. Mm. And Alan Rickman is Snape and he's staring at Harry. He's like, oh. yeah. uh, Alan Rickman. Alan Rickman. I miss that guy. Yeah. Uh, the sorting hat looks like shit. Yeah, it's, it's old. I like it. no, no, no. The CGI, oh, the, CGI. the oh, effect yeah. looks awful. Looked good when we first originally I, saw I it. I like its voice. I don't know who does the voice of it, but oh, fuck. right. Then. Oh fuck, right. No, because I was looking it up. Uh, he from Monty Python he plays the old auction guy in Lara Croft Tomb Raider, uh, and he's he's in a bunch of other things. I can't remember all the other ones. Uh, but yeah, he's Lara all like, Croft tumor. like that's yeah. what you remember him from. It was the one that popped out in my head. Hmm. Uh, we have a review for that. So yeah, the the sorting hats like Harry Potter, you're a Gryffindor. Uh, don't also forget that they go to put the sorting hat on his head. They barely touch, and he's like Slytherin, and I'm like, I wish that was me. Yeah, and, and Harry Potter's like, don't be Slytherin. Don't Slytherin. Be Slytherin. I want to go to Slytherin. Like Harry Potter did not want to be in Slytherin because he hates all the baddies. Why are there all these like race? Like, why are they separating all of them? Like again, well, they have to put them in different houses based on their abilities because they want to f- harness their abilities. And if you are a more ambitious, dick baggish person, they want to put you around more. Wait, pe- it's kind of a bad move. Wait, so does free will not exist? They're just pre. Well, oh, that's why Harry was like, I don't want to go to Slytherin because he technically chose to be in Gryffindor. He was actually going to be put yeah, in Slytherin because the hat was like, oh, you'll do really, you could do really great things in Slytherin. He's like, all right, well. I think it's a deleted scene in the second one or whatever, because you don't want to read the books, I guess. Um, he, the Sorting Hat actually talks to Harry and was like, yeah, like, you should have been in Slytherin. But... So is the Sorting Hat, was he like always hat? Like, is that just his life? Never... No, it's uh, all the Hogwarts founders. They took parts of their brain and put it inside the Sorting Hat. Like memories and stuff. Yeah. Not like their brains. That's horrifying. Um... I was like the Pensieve in the, um, uh, is it the fourth one? Uh Six. Six? Yeah. Like, uh, but like that's when um, Dumbledore was like putting his like little memories. Yeah. memories. So now yeah, no, it is a fourth one. It is a fourth. Mm-hmm. So now there's ghosts. There's ghosts. Is this the afterlife? They just hang around? Wizard or? ghosts are That's different. where they it's, died. It's kind of like the paintings. So they choose this to be there? No. Yeah, well. Not, not really. There's no way for them to go to the afterlife? No, they're kind of stuck there. It might just be their spirit presence, like a copy thing. They never really go into it. I, I just feel like it's really mean that they're forced to hang around a school for all eternity instead of being with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I feel it's a really mean. Yeah. Uh, but one of them is John Cleese, mm-hmm. who I've mentioned before. I saw nearly live. Headless, nearly headless Nick. Yeah. I saw him live. Also, that food at that feast. <laughs> oh. I saw Ron's him live. Ron's like munching a few years into those ago. freaking drumsticks. I'm he like, do- damn. He does a really good uh, live show if you ever get to see John Cleese. Uh, he is clearly just, I mean, he's on a green screen and he's just phoning it in. Oh, yeah. I like John Cleese, but he's terrible in this. <laughs> he's so bad. He's like, did you hear Harry Potter's doing this? <laughs> I'm like, wow, he showed up for a day and was like, cha-ching, bye. I'm John Cleese. I got to go be in James Bond now. Um, let me see. The, the, I like the staircases and mm-hmm. the creepy paintings. That's a cool set. A yeah, little MC Escher things like the staircase yes. can move and stuff. And uh, Alan Rickman fucking hates Harry Potter, so therefore I like Alan Rickman because I hate Harry Potter. Right. Uh, someone tried to rob Harry Potter's vault, and it's told. No. It, yeah, 
No, not his vault. They try and rob the Sorcerer Stone vault. Which was his. No. no. Then why, why was he taking Harry there? He happened. Hag- they happened to be doing both at the same time. Oh. He's like, while I'm getting your money, I'm going to take the thing. Oh. Which is why, because they said, hey, while you're picking up the Sorcerer Stone, could you grab Harry Potter from his stupid lighthouse movie and okay. go give him the shit? Okay. He's kind of the errand boy. So yeah, so someone tried to break into the vault and the newspaper shows it because mm-hmm. they have moving newspapers. Yeah. They just don't have TVs. No. TVs existed then. Why Why are they allowed to have newspapers but not TVs? Because it's kind of like steampunky, but magic. Okay. Um, they You're like go thinking to, way too much. They go this. to fly brooms. Why are they flying brooms? Because they're witches and wizards. They're married to the broom thing? Can they just use anything? That's like in a Hocus Pocus, they have like a vacuum cleaner. Yeah. In the mop. mop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like like something that's more aerodynamic. Like why do they? It's ins- not really about speed and. You can like, you Long. Mean, yeah. Longbottom flying looks like trash. This whole it's scene, really bad. <laughs> this whole scene looks like a PlayStation Two cutscene. Oh, there's oh so God. many bad PlayStation games of Harry Potter. Yeah, but like I love the games. It's just they look like shit. <laughs> they terrifying. were probably mimicking the movie. Can, can this we put a like picture shit? of Hagrid from the, the Harry Potter game here? Because it's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking him flying around. Like at no point does Hogwarts feel like a real place that you can go to. It's awful. It's so terrible. I like the flight lady. Madam yeah, what was her deal? It's kind of hot, I think. Like tomboyish kind of way. Okay. Damn, her <laughs> eyes are like hawk-like. That's too. what I'm talking about. So uh, they throw like a stupid ball around. Uh, and yeah, just well, more the awful. The ball was a remember all that was sent to Neville from his grandmother because he forgets things a lot. And he just happened to have it on him for some reason at broom class, whatever, flight class. His, his whole story is fucking horrifying. Yeah. In the whole mm-hmm. series. Technically... I still stand by it that he was actually the original, like, Harry Potter. Oh. Oh, that's so. like a theory, right? Oh, I mean, technically he does the last thing to, like, destroy Voldemort, so... Mm. Whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, Draco picks up the Remember All, and then he's just like, I'm gonna keep this. And then something about, uh, what was it, uh, maybe if Neville had this on him, he would have uh, remembered to fall on his fat arse. Oh, I was yeah. like, ha, ha, ha. Because... Okay, no, British. A-R-S-E. Do you think that was a lot of? T- do you think that was like the first time a lot of little kids heard the word "ass"? Probably. Ars. And they were like, Hee. "Wait, so so you you were in love with the the fat shaming, asshole blonde dick bag kid with the bad teeth?" Yeah. Yeah. All right. Not in this movie though. <laughs> Wait. So then you decided to then date Tony eventually? Yeah. How did so that? I, what I, was I that? just yeah. upgraded to dark hair. Oh. And now yeah. you're marrying a ginger. Yeah. <laughs> With a beautiful bushy beard. <laughs> um, yeah, then they are chasing each other around trying to, you know, yeah. whatever. And then he throws the thing and then he catches it. And, and it looks like shit. And McGonagall sees it and she's like, well, what the frick? Right. And, and then uh, puts him on the Quidditch team. Speaking of which, uh, she turns into a cat again. And it's like one of the worst transitions I've ever seen. Yeah. I liked it it's before when they first did it where it's like a shadow. And yeah, because like, they were like yeah. smart. Because yeah. someone said this is going to look like shit. Let's be a little bit more clever. And then someone else went, "Nope." It was better than the movie Cats from a couple years ago. <laughs> Release the butthole cut. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I want to see the butthole cut. Um, yeah. So now he's a seeker for the stupid game. But and, and his dad was a seeker. He wasn't. I thought they said he was, he but was he wasn't. They changed it for yeah. some fucking reason. But he was a chaser okay. in the books, which and, is completely team, different. But he was team captain. Yeah. Does this fucking matter? Like, yes. Because yeah. oh. that's like you're you're like the goalie or the or the you know, it's like football, but you're in space. And it was like the forward, basically. So so this the, this movie is ruined for you. Then did you stand up in the theaters and go, I disagree with this change? Seeing as I was a child and I was just like, wow, I'm watching this. And also every other freaking adaptation of everything I love is just made into like weird ass movies anyway. Just, Hollywood ruins everything. So they go to a creepy dungeon, uh, and there's something about a creepy cat. There's like a cat, and they're like, watch out for that cat. Mrs. And Norris. Run- what? Her name's Mrs. Norris. The cat? Okay. Yes. Is that, a, is that also a person, or is that no, a cat? It's no, it's just a cat. Okay. It, and they're like- Filch's cat. It hangs out with Filch, who is a, uh, oh, what is it called? Oh, he's what? that creepy guy. Yeah. A squib. Squib. Okay. So he's a, he's a, he's a 
wizard who can't use magic. He was born into a wizarding kind of thing. It's kind of how like Hermione was born into a muggle family, but she has magical powers. Oh. It's the opposite. Wait, okay. but then wouldn't Harry's mother's sister have been a squid? And therefore should have been in that universe? Harry's mother's sister? Yeah. Harry's aunt? Yeah. like the so people Petunia? He, the people he's staying with. Yeah, no, because uh, they were all muggles too. And then Lily just ended up being a witch. Oh. Petunia didn't get those so powers. It's like a That's Hermione. why Petunia is mad. Oh, because okay. Because so, so she got all the cool Harry's stuff. Harry's mom's like in a Hermione situation. Yeah. Okay. So they run into Cerebrus. Say that again? Cerebus? Cerebus? Cerebus. Cerberus from Cerberus. Mass Effect? Cerberus. <laughs> So they run into Cerberus. Fluffy! I know. Uh, so I'm like, oh, that's Cerberus. I know three-headed dog monsters. And then like the thing is like, this is Fluffy that popped up on screen. I'm like, what? It's because Hagrid named him. That's fucking stupid. Hagrid likes creepy things. <laughs> yeah, Harry. In the hit film. Speaking of creepy things. <laughs> in the hit film, Daisy Durkin's Dog Sitter of the Dam, directed by our good friend Mark Mackner. Uh, they have a three-headed dog, I think. And it's, uh, I think they used a Harry Potter toy for it. <laughs> And that one is called Cerber Cer Cerberus? Cerberus? Cerberus. 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 It's Greek. Yes. Uh, oh my God. So yeah, they're like, wow, that was a dog. Let's leave. I'm going to bed before either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed. Or worse, expelled. Uh, then they learned to play Quidditch, and I got memories of college. There were people who tried to make... Yeah, they started, like... I always thought this was so weird that they Do made you it remember into an this? actual sport. There's Quidditch leagues and stuff. Yeah, I thought that was so weird. Were what they, I did enjoy were... was people actually setting up the three rings in the middle and having beer pong that way. That was fun. But there were people just running around fields with brooms yeah, between I know, their legs. So, I'm like, this is... This, yeah. this, this movie actively got a lot of people in the LARPing. Yeah. And being in the like like Renaissance fairs were on a decline and this and Lord of the Rings f and steampunk stuff really fueled the sexual awakening and and the <laughs> the trade of people at these at these conventions. LARPing and stuff is fun. Like I did that thing no. where you have like the phone weapons no. and you beat each other up. That's fun. No, not even once. It that is that is the weed. That is the uh what's it called? The gateway. Yeah. The LARPing is the gateway drug to to uh to sexual slavery. <laughs> what? <laughs> Adam Renfrew. No, that stuff was fun. I, there, there, there were guys near me that used to do it with the foam weapons and the shields, and it was a lot of fun to do. Yeah. No, what sucks is they I took him to the Ren Fair, you. and he was being all like lame and not like going along with it. Oh, wait. wait no, apparently, you like LARPing. I, I was being a real dick. Hold on, where is it? Why does everyone just leave? There it is. Oh, yeah. The Pennsylvania Renaissance Fair. 1987 oh. fucking VHS tape from the first year they were open and I have it and I got to go there and like bring it back to them because they were looking for one. Yeah. But it's been in front of the set the entire time. The PA Renfair tape. Uh, Jessica, I would like you to play the PA Renfair from 1987 tape in its entirety right now. And he rubbed his wife's left leg with a bottle singing I And I will believe. So Quidditch, uh, it, it it's, it's a game nerds played in in college, and I hated all of them. Uh, Leviosa, did I say it right? Leviosa. Leviosa. Yeah, that's the thing. Guardian Leviosa. Yes. Uh, it's not Leviosa. It's Leviosa. <laughs> it's Leviosa, not Leviosa. <laughs> oh, there's a kid who keeps blowing stuff up. Why don't they kill him? <laughs> He's Irish. <laughs> yes. But it's like every single like trick he does, he's just like, uh, turn into water and then it just blows up. What they, is he? They gave every one of these childs a loaded gun. What is he doing wrong? How can, like, he's broken. The sorting hat should have been like, oh, hey, his brain's fucked. He's only got the blowing up part of his brain. He's. Stop. <laughs> he's, Stop. He's a real Hufflepuff. Stop. But why is he just blowing things up? I don't understand. He doesn't have control of his powers. Why does no so one put singeing off his eyebrows? No one's putting a stop to it. They're like, you're not allowed to touch a well, wand. The teachers for are probably like lol, because I've you know I've worked at summer camps or did stuff <sighs> in school before, and sometimes you know, the kid hurts themselves. You're like, <laughs> it sucks. So now there's floating jack o' lanterns because it's Halloween. Uh, oh yeah, this movie goes hard on Halloween and Christmas. And there's a troll in the dungeon. So. And this makes 
quirl you, you, faint. You, you also uh, skipped over the fact that Ron was bullying poor Hermione and she ran away crying. It's called, it's called negging. It's when you're uh, mean to a girl in order to flirt with them. Anyway, she's been in the it bathroom works. all night crying. Wow, what a fucking drama queen. Ra- all night? She didn't get her shit together for five minutes to make it back to her room and continue crying? She's crying all night long in the bathroom? One day you'll have feelings. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah. So a troll shows up and Quirrell uh, faints. Turban guy. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to call him that. Um, so everyone's scared of the Why are, troll, are trolls evil? Are they inherently evil? Yes. Trolls are, are evil magical creatures out there. Unlike giants who are just big people. So why are trolls evil? Because they're. Are they all born bad? Do they not have free will? Do they're they? just dumb and they're just, you know, they attack people. They're dumb? They, yeah. Real Hufflepuff types. <laughs> yeah, so a troll just shows up and it's like, I have to murder a tiny woman. I'm like, this is, this is kind of fucked. Uh, but this is the part where Harry jumps on his head and Chris Columbus pops up. He's like, yeah, so for this scene, we made a digital Harry Potter to go in his head so that's actually a cgi harry potter and i'm like well yeah it looks like a fucking really smooth rubber doll like moving inhumanly like this is this is the worst yeah, like, thing i've ever seen compared to like uh willow for example with warwick davis where <laughs> they have like the character the fake characters on the monsters that looks way better yeah or it were to mix a miniature and green screen no so they uh they they stab him in like the brain the nose yeah the- yeah I always, I always thought he landed on the thing and like yeah, went yeah. into his so head. That, but that happened. Didn't happen. That happened. Remember when everyone was buying metal straws because turtles yeah. in the environment? <laughs> Some lady was jogging with hers and she tripped and it went right into her freaking like eye and killed her. Yeah. The metal straw went right through her eye into her brain and killed her. I do hate metal straw. I hate paper straws too. Like, I'm sorry, turtles, you got to learn to avoid that shit because I can't stand the paper straws. <laughs> I really can't. You know what's funny? It's like, we're not even the fucking problem with the straws. It's like other big companies with their, you know, ways. It really is. But apparently, you know, paper straws is going to save everything. Like, nah, <laughs> maybe like go look at like China and other like. Whoa, whoa, whoa. all right. Settle down. Settle so down. yeah, they, they get points for murdering a troll. They're like, good job with murdering. Oh, yeah, because yeah, remember, they broke them up in the four different houses. Yeah. Uh, and you get, so they get points, house points and then you get a cup at the end of the year if you win but why does it matter I don't know I don't care I mean isn't it like another thing with like friggin um what are the Greek stupid crap for college the fraternity yeah and oh, those what's it called? like the Greek games there's a name for it yeah there, there's like a thing for them Rush? too no I it's hate stupid. a fraternity yeah I, I, can, I, I stayed far no, away from that no offense um pure offense uh let's see here Harry gets a nice broomstick What's the difference between the broomsticks? They're it's like different it's, models. It's like a better car. Yeah. Is they're, it made they're out of a, quality. Is it made out of a better tree? What? Yeah, kind of like that. What is it? The, what, the, the Nimbus fire? two thousand, right? The Nimbus. No, you got the Nimbus. Then the Nimbus two thousand. Then the Fireball. Firebolt. Firebolt. Okay. Firebolt. Yeah, it's a, it's the Nimbus two thousand. The Nimbus two thousand and one that Draco ends up getting in the second one, and then the Firebolt in the fourth one, I believe. I think so. So we get to see the stadium, and the director says in his commentary that in the book it's a regular stadium, but for this they want it towers so you can get a yeah. sense of speed. That is that is cooler. Yes. Uh, however, it looks like shit. Yes. And at some, I, I've been saving this. On the back. Guys, this came out like the same year as Lord of the Rings. It should have, like, Lord of the Rings has aged very well. There's a few dodgy stuff here and there. But this is aged so fucking poorly. I mean, to be fair, Fellowship didn't have like the sweeping battle scenes and stuff. But yeah, dude, it opens up with a sweeping battle scene. Yeah, it's, like, eh. it's like dark and there's fog. Yeah. This looks like shit. Uh. This looks so bad. And the fact that they came out the same year is just embarrassing. <gasps> and everyone should feel bad. Like even the, there, when, as much as we shit on the prequels, even the prequels don't look when, this when, when, bad. When I worked, at, they look no, bad. No, he made it worse. Yeah. When I, Later. At, when I worked at the movie theater, did I tell you I worked at a movie theater? No, please, go on a long wind it um, ran about a movie theater. They had a Wizards of the Coast store at the theater. Okay. And we would do a like kind of like a triangle trade where we would give them movie tickets and they would give us like cards and there was a pizza shop in the mall and we would do this like trade of, you know, see movies and stuff. And there was like a war that broke out. 
between the Harry Potter people and the Lord of the Rings people because two card games came out the same year too. So uh, everyone was like fighting with each other. Oh, and Jesus. Who, it was a whole thing, but I just remember like the Potter and Harry Potter, the, the Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter people just hated each other. I know South Park went over that a few yeah. times. I like both. <laughs> nah, you're allowed, Lord of the Rings. You're allowed yeah. to like both, but Lord of the Rings is way better. Yes. Oh, I, no, I agree. Um, but not the new Hobbit movies. So yeah, uh, here, I will give this movie a pass. I don't understand the rules of Quidditch. And then I realize I don't really understand the rules of football, so I can't really. Or sports in general. Wait, you talking, you talking soccer? Or are you talking like football, football, like American football? Uh, soccer. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the rules seem super convoluted, but I'm like, whatever. Uh, they think Snape is putting a spell on Harry yeah, because he obviously been... looks like a bad guy. Yeah. Uh, and then He she... was also moving his mouth. Like <laughs> He's like, ah. So people who move their mouths are bad guys? He's clearly muttering, looking at Harry. Yeah, because they don't make it very clear, but you can do magic and do spells without your wand if you're super focused. And like that's like an advanced yeah. technique. Okay. But uh, I, I do want to point out, you can also see Quirrell doing the same thing. But it zooms in on Snape because you see Snape yeah. muttering more. When they but do like the you, flashback. You, yeah, yeah, you yeah. see Quirrell. Oh, I'm like going to bring that I'm gonna uh, bring that up. Don't worry. Turban guy. Um, yes. Uh, so Silencio. Hermione... Is like, he's being evil. I'm going to light him on fire. I'm going to fucking burn him alive. I'm going to fucking burn him and he's going to fucking die. It was a tiny fire. What the hell? And, and Ron is like, wicked. <laughs> um, I like your English accent. Yeah. <laughs> wicked. Child English accent. Uh, Gryffindor wins. Yay. Sure. Um... Weird 360 shot of Harry looking happy for way too long. Uh, now fly, it's, fly, Gryffindor. Yeah, it's Christmas now. Wait, was it? Did he catch the the snitch? Yeah. Yes. I don't like the snitch. I hate snitches. I think all. I think snitches should get stitches. Exactly. You know what I mean? Uh, so Harry gets an invisibility cloak. Where does he get that from? Who gives it to him? Dumbledore, technically, but you're not supposed to know that yet. And it was his father's who used to sneak around and be a dick bag when he was a kid. Yep. Oh. I do like how, like, when he... They would go more into detail on that in the third movie, but someone decided to cut everything the fuck out! Oscar winner Alfonso oh. Cuaron. Fuck him. <laughs> Asshole. Um, I'm gonna put this voodoo head in instead. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I do like that on the outside it's invisible, but then, like, in the inside you see, like, the lace mm -hmm. and stuff. Like, that's cool. smart. That's yeah. smart. Um, and, and that's kind of a very Lord of the Ringsy. Yeah, title. with their with their cloak, yeah. So, J.K. Rowling stole that. Um... So yeah, he Wow, they've never been around before ever. <laughs> yeah. So he's walking around, he finds a demon face in a book. Yeah. It reminds me of the frighteners. He's in the restricted section and he opened the book. Who is that demon face? Oh, it's just something in the book. Is that the devil? Yeah, Tony, it's the devil. It's it, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Yo, be careful with the library. The devil hangs out in a book. <laughs> We'll get you. Uh, uh, does that talk about the devil being in library books? Uh, actually, yes. Uh, I can show you right here. No way. The demons are actually like behind the magic. Like here, see? So they're they're like doing stuff, and the demons, if you're a wizard, the demons are following you. Oh everywhere. my god. So you have to find. I hate mm. this. Um, so yeah, Snape is threatening Quirrell. Mm hmm. Uh, and he's like, I'm going to fucking kill you, you motherfucker. Fucker. Yeah. Did you try to light me and on fire? I'm gonna no, he didn't say you. that. <laughs> and then and then a uh, creepy old guy shows up and he's like, there's a Filch. kid. Yeah, he's like, there's a kid hanging around. Yeah, because Harry was stupid and knocked over his lantern. Yeah, you, yes. you keep seeing some um, uh, uh, Alan Rickman and Turban guy. They keep fighting each other through the whole thing and you don't really know what's going on. Please make a note that I have made a consistent effort to say the character's name after I was criticized for calling him Turban guy and Justin... Just insist on calling him Turban Guy. Anyway, continue. So S Squirrel? Yes, yeah, Squirrel. So Squirrel, um, <laughs> you, you, you are assuming that Squirrel is the good guy and Snape is the bad guy the whole time. Yes. But when you watch it back and you know what's going on, it's really bad how they do all this. Yeah. yeah. It is also a movie for children. Because like, if Snape's a good guy, he like sucks at it. He like sucks. He's kind of a good guy. Uh, I do know he tried to cuck Harry Potter's dad. Yes. So I have respect for him there. Um, mm, I'd say it's the other way around. <laughs> Technically, Harry Potter's dad cucked. What? Oh, then fuck Snape. I hate him now. He was like, Lily can go with him. Oh, what is so More like soip. 
Severus Soip. <laughs> Snape. 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 Severus Snape. Anyway. Snape. Um, Harry Severus looks in a Snape. mirror. Dumbledore. Harry looks in a mirror Dumbledore. and he, say, he sees yeah. his dead parents. Which in the is mirror more, of Erised. Which is more than what Rey got when she looked into that creepy mirror in Last Jedi, your favorite movie. Yeah. Uh, and then he wakes up Ron. He's like, Ron, you got to go see my dead parents. Let me show you my dead parents. They're just hanging out, I guess. Uh, but Ron does not see it. He's like, I am a Quidditch champion in this mirror. Yep. Because I guess he's it shows. He's fucking full of himself. Yeah, it shows you your deepest, darkest desires, I guess. Right. It's supposed, it's like a uh, like a metaphor mirror. Yeah. And I do like uh, Harry staring at it and Dumbledore is like, that mirror is a real asshole. We're moving it. It's yeah. like people... People tend to stare at it and then die. It's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> just leave it out. <laughs> just, just leave it out. It was even covered up. What the fuck? Yeah, honestly, we should really just break it. Like, it, it, it serves us no purpose. It literally serves no purpose being here. Oh, well, it serves its purpose at the end, but yeah. At the end, but if we're talking about like the universe of the movie, it's like, why do we have this mirror that drives people insane? How does this help us? Well, that was a little confusing, too, at the end. Just yeah. Little... Um, so yeah, a million hours into the film. It's... Dude, two and a half hours long sh- for a kids movie? Shut the fuck up. Rocky Four is an hour and a half. That's a good one. Million time. hours into the film, someone finally gets around to telling us what the Sorcerer's Stone is. Ninety minutes. Yes, uh, it makes you immortal and turns stuff gold. Yep. Those are two really specific things. I do anything. You live else? forever and you're rich. Usually, the Philosopher's Stone is just the gold thing, but what if what if gold is invaluable in the future? It's a very malleable metal. You can use it for anything. Electronics. But I mean, it's like for currency, like. That's well, the, we don't use gold for Can currency. it turn things into crypto? <laughs> the, it turns everything the into bitcoins. <laughs> oh no, he got turned into bitcoin! <laughs> Doge. <laughs> yeah, everyone gets turned into Dogecoin. Um, so they assume Snape is after it because he's been hanging around in the restricted area. Uh, they try to tell Haggard uh, and he's just like, or Hagrid, Hagrid, I read Hagrid, and Hagrid, Hagrid's like, nah, Snape's protecting it, he's yeah, cool and on he the level. He's been super, like, sus, because um, the troll part, he noticed that his leg was bleeding, because Fluffy bit him. Yes. Uh, and then Hagrid's like, hey, look, I got a dragon. Hagrid. Yeah. He's like, look, I got a dragon, what do you know? And it looks worse than Dragonheart. We have dragon, yeah. Probably. It looks worse than Dragonheart. Dragonheart too. And this is like years after Dragon. It looks like Dragonheart 2, when really it should look better than Dragonheart 1. Mm. Why? Like, the fucking Jurassic Park movies were made at this point, and they didn't... I don't know why it wasn't just a puppet. It really could have been. Um, So he's like, yeah, I got this dragon from a guy. Isn't that cool? And then they see Malfoy spying on them. Uh, Dumbledore... They all get in trouble for being out late at night. Mm-hmm. And Dumbledore, 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 dumb it down. <laughs> Dumbledore deports Hagrid's dragon to Romania. Yeah, he's supposed he was supposed to have the dragon longer too in the book. No, instead of it was like this two second yeah. thing. He was supposed to actually like bond with it, and it was supposed to get larger. So, so one of the Weasleys, uh, one of the older ones, lives Charlie. in Romania, Charlie, yeah. and he takes care of dragons. So they send him over there. So yep. they get detention, and they get sent to the woods for <laughs> detention. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Well, they're, they're supposed to help Hagrid. So everyone got in trouble, but then they put the people who got in trouble together no. to go into the woods, which is the worst place to be because that's where all the magical creatures chill out. Yes. that's like It's like Pokemon. They yeah. set them into the tall grass. Yes, and then they find unicorn blood, which is liquid metal. Uh, it's like silver, and they're mm-hmm. like, we got to find a injured unicorn, and then this is Voldemort, right? It's, it's, it's Squirrel. As Voldemort. But as Voldemort. And they're so. sucking the life of the unicorn, which is like a... Ta- it's very taboo, but it's also sweet unicorn metal blood. You yes. That. Uh, but he's drinking the blood, and then he sees Harry Potter, and he's like, ooh. And he, and he, I uh, always crack the fuck up when the centaur comes in, and then it's... They use a puppet for this, and you see Voldemort squirrel mm-hmm. <laughs> just being going, ee! Because <laughs> it's just literally just like a little thing of like... Bl- like I don't know. Do we have a T-shirt or something? We don't have anything. We don't. But literally, it, it's just someone pulling it up, and I'm like, yeah. "Wow, that looks terrible." <laughs> uh, I will give credit. It doesn't look great, but the centaur is not awful because it's at night. They don't linger yeah. on him too much. He's got a cool voice too. He's got a cool voice. His mouth movement was really cool too. This is where I leave you. You're safe now. 
He basically comes in. He's like, hey, Harry, what's up? I'm a centaur. Uh, unicorns are pretty cool. Shouldn't drink their blood. Yeah, and you shouldn't be in here. It's really dangerous yeah. for you. you. You should head out. I'm a centaur. And I like that it wasn't just a guy's body on top of a thing. Um, remember that Christopher Walken skit on Saturday Night Live where yeah. he's interviewing yes, a yes, centaur yes, for yes. a job? It was pretty funny. I did enjoy it too, whatever the um, part where they were splitting up for some dumb reason. And Draco's all like, I'm going to take Fang. And he's just like, oh, Hagrid is like, oh, well, he's a bloody coward. So, like, have fun. <laughs> um, they try to warn Magic Lady that someone's going to steal the stone. Uh, oh, they found out that Hagrid is. Ha so, the whole running gag is Hagrid just keeps telling people stuff they shouldn't know. They get him drunk. Yeah. And then he's That's just what happens in the book. Yeah. And then he's just like, <laughs> this guy was like, how do you take care of an evil guard dog? And I'm like, well, you play music to put him to sleep. And it's like, you fucking idiot. You should get fired. He should be deported to Romania. Um, <sighs> so, yeah, they uh, they tell Magic Lady. They're like, hey, McGonagall. sure. They're like, hey, uh, Hagrid, this sucks. You should probably fire him. And also someone's going for the Sorcerer's Stone. She's like, what? I don't know what that is. Don't worry about it. It's like, okay. Um, and then Snape creeps up on them after they leave the thing. Oh yeah, such a creep, such a fucking. And he's like limping away. <laughs> no, no wonder, like, no wonder, but uh, Harry Potter's mom. Was it? Was like, Someone will no. think you're <laughs> up to something, and Harry's just looking at him like, fucking. Okay, that was one of the things in the magical movie mode where the words pop. It's like up to something. It's so stupid. Uh, um, are you saying Severus Snape is an incel? Yes. Yeah. Technically, uh, yes. The hmm. Technically, yes. And then they go for the stone that night. Yes. They wake up the dog. The dog tries to eat them. And then they fall into a pit full of the evil dead Wait, trees. So is there, is there a goal to, from the first one? Yeah. What are, like, like spit on your grave kind of a situation? Like, what's going <laughs> What are you talking about? Keep going. So what, so their goal is to steal the philosopher's stone. Sorcerer's stone. Sorcerer's stone. We can say philosopher's. So no one else steals it. No, yes. They want to get it before Snape. Okay. Yes. Um, and at some point, they have to fly and get flying keys. Yeah, there's like this whole bunch of other stuff they're supposed to do. Like the whole, um, uh, I think it's actually Hermione, maybe? The potion? No, the, the devil snare uh, when they're all um, dropped down or whatever. I think like... I think Hermione's the one who ends up like panicking a little bit. I can't remember. No, no, Ron no, is no, the one in the book. Oh, in the book. Yeah, the the problem. So this whole situation is these are all these challenges they put in front of them to get to the thing, and it's because it's a kid movie. It's all about them using their talents they learned along the way, like flying the broom and using your brain. And yeah, then they're and then. all supposed to get on the uh, yeah. brooms to go after the key too. So I mean, that makes sense for the movie. I understand changing it. Mm. Uh, plus, you're going to let these poor kids fly. Plus, you have to only animate one kid flying. I get it. Mm. Um, so, so does Dumbledore, when he was like, because uh, we find out the mirror is at the end of this thing. Was that don't old? Don't skip it. Like, no, 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 no. I just want to say, looking at these things, so like, does Dumbledore, does his fucking old ass pick up that heavy mirror and did he have to also go through the the roots and then get on a I broom doubt it. I think he just the went there. <laughs> no, this is very, Does he have to play chess? This to, is like this is like Indiana Jones and Last Crusade. Yeah. There's probably like a side entrance. Or like you put it in first and then you build everything coming back. Yeah. <laughs> um yeah, then they play uh chess, wizard's chess, and that's, it's that's have you seen chess. the memes going around with people like quoting this entire scene? No. Oh my god, it's like the funniest thing. They keep like <laughs> like in the most like ridiculous like voices. So they'll be like So it's a uh, uh Ron, Ron, no! Like in stupid voices, or it'd be like, what is it? Being Hermione. And then Ari. <laughs> that sounds stupid. It's funny. No. Ron, no! What is it? He's going to sacrifice himself. Sounds like only something a fucking Harry Potter nerd would yeah. find funny. I got a Kieran joke for you. Yeah. Karen said, uh, "Oh God damn it!" I so Ron Ron comes out and he goes, "Ah, this is a wizard's chest." And then Dumbledore comes out, opens up his shirt, big muscles, and he has like no hair, like all shaved. He's like, "This is a wizard's chest." So, that was a Kieran joke. Anyway, <laughs> so <laughs> Hermione was supposed to go with Harry after the wizarding chest stuff, and they were supposed to do a test, because each of the tests is something that um, the teacher set up. Mm -hmm. So, like, obviously, like, the first one was Hagrid, and then the second one was um, the herbology teacher or whatever. Hagrid's and not a teacher. 
He's I mean, the groundskeeper. Ten, technically, yes. But uh, then the last one was supposed to be Snape with potions. Mm-hmm. And like Harry and Hermione were supposed to do that together. Yeah, but they okay. cut it out. Yeah. And I'm pissed because that was actually really cool. I don't. I don't remember if that was the deleted scene that was shown. It's not. A, it's not a deleted scene. They didn't shoot it. They didn't do oh, it. Oh, they didn't even. Yeah, shoot they didn't it. even do it at all. Yeah. Oh. They just had Hermione stay with Ron at the end. Gotcha. But then okay. after that, then Harry went on by himself. I mean, the movie's already ten million hours. They so might as well cut. It would. They, they could have cut other stuff. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, the the chess scene is actually kind of fun. Uh. Ron's apparently good at chess, and then they find Quirrell. Squirrel. Yeah, staring at a... You! He's staring at a mirror, and he's like, mm, yes, I'm the bad guy, and I lied about being good, and I'm not actually dumb. Uh, it's like, I was trying to kill you with my spell, and then uh, the fire stopped me. By the way, the back of my head is Voldemort. Harry Potter, we meet again. Voldemort. Voldemort. Uh, and in the commentary thing, Chris Columbus is like, you know, we didn't realize it was going to be Ray Fiennes, and I would love to go back and make it Ray Fiennes. Like, he wants to pull a George Lucas. I want the Columbus cut. <laughs> he also talks about how he wants to make a 3D, and it's like, oh. No. But yeah, so he he they they he wants it to be Ray Fiennes, but it kind of looks somewhat it, it's close. Fine. It's fine. His nose is different. It, it, but. it works because it's the back of a dude's head. Yeah. Like, it's fine. Yeah, the mm-hmm. trouble with all the Harry Potter movies, it's like, what wacky way did... Uh, Voldemort set up the comeback this time that he's been setting up for the last 25 years for some reason. It, it becomes very Scooby Doo like. Wasn't he busy killing people? How did he have time to? He set, set up it, he these? set it all up and then went around killing people and then those are all backups. But you don't find that out till book seven or book eight. Man, he really sucked at seven? being evil. Book, book seven, which I broke up into two movies, movie eight. Why did he suck at being so evil? He's British. He's like, I have all these backup plans now to take. Now to do plan A, and then plan A just failed spectacularly. Because <laughs> plan A was thwarted by a baby. What you, the fuck? You, you find, suck. You find out with his life <sighs> that he was like a broken child like Harry Potter or any of these people, and he went down the wrong path. That's kind of like what they're... Because Harry could become the next Voldemort if he wanted to. It's all Yeah, fun. I've seen Star Wars. I know what you're talking about. Right. Oh, we also... I think J.K. Rowling's seen Star Wars. I, I think that's actually like like someone... Did the thing where they wrote all about like the whole script of the first Star Wars movie and then put in Harry Potter instead, and it's like <laughs> it's you, the same you ever thing. see that? It's pretty yeah, funny. Remember Aragon? I never read the book, but the movie was just Star so Wars. So bad. The movie That's was so just bad. Star Wars. The, mo- the movie sucked, but that second book was really fucking good and pretty mm. brutal. Well, Justin, to be fair, you also said Battlefield Earth is a good book, and I listened to this podcast recently that heavily criticized your uh, your opinions on classic literature. I don't know, but I think the second half of it's pretty good. Stuff they don't show in the movie. Anyway, you I don't really actually podcast. Oh, you don't. Like, Jesus Christ! It's, it's, it's a parrot, especially with numbers like that. It's like you know, it's a parrot. What's what's the problem? Anyway, you skipped over when they were originally sneaking out to go get the stone. Uh, Neville tries to stop them. Oh, and they freeze him. They freaking petrify the poor kid. Like what an <laughs> asshole without his consent. What else is she doing? He against should, people's consent. He should be a awful. Person. Oh my god! She's probably robbing people, like killing them. Anyway, uh, so yeah, the dude's like, I'm going to get you, Harry Potter. I'm bad. But then he touches him and he's like, I'm melting. And then he like burns on fire like Dracula. Also left out the whole, he looked into the mirror and got the stone. Oh yeah, right. That happened. Because Carl's like, oh, like I I know the stone like has something to do with the mirror. Like I can get it this way. And then, then Harry gets it because Harry didn't actually want the stone to use it. He wanted it. Yes. Dumbledore explains that later. But yeah, so. It's so how did cute. how did how did Quirrell meet Voldemort and how did Voldemort show up in the back of his head? He was out traveling. I think it was Romania, actually. Um, what's yeah. going on in Romania? Yeah, and then he got attacked, and yeah, and Voldemort just like I'm going in your head. Pretty much, yeah. No, oh, that's stupid. Why is Romania like? Is Dracula? Does Dracula exist in this universe? <laughs> Vampires do. But Dracula specifically? I don't know about Dracula specifically. I assume. I'm gonna say yes. Okay. Um, yeah, so speaking of Dracula, Chris Columbus said that uh, the way he like burns up is similar to how Christopher Lee dies in one of the Hammer Horror that, yeah, ones. It's light, like a reference yeah. to that. Uh, but yeah, so basically he can't touch Harry and he melts. And then Voldemort is Voldemort Thank you. is a cloud. And he's like, bah! It's his soul, basically. It's right through him. Yeah. He goes through Harry. That comes up later, him going through Harry, right? Do they... He says why he couldn't be hurt by him, and he, they explain the whole mom's love thing and whatever. Okay, okay. 
Uh, um, he does not get any Harry Potter powers from going through him, right? No. So it's not like Agent Smith in the Matrix. No. Okay. No. Um, yeah, but Dumbledore is like, yes. Uh, but, oh, by the way, we destroyed the stone. Did he destroy the stone? I feel like he's lying. Um, he sets his affairs in order, and then he gets he destroys the stone. Who the, sets their affairs? The in guy order? who created Nicholas Flamel. Is he in the movie? No. No, they, they just, just mention him. About him. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> hey, sorry, Nick. Uh, we're gonna kill you. No, I mean, they talked to him. We're like, look, like this is too dangerous to he, exist he anymore. He just says, yeah, I've lived long enough. It's cool. Yeah. He's like, all right. Let's chill. That's cool. We'll get rid Can of it. Can you just make like another stone? No, it was kind of a one of a kind situation. No. Lifetime of work. One no. of his lifetimes. Oh. Well, anyway, they're like, we're just going to destroy that stone. Yep. It's like, oh, you should probably do that with like a lot of the shit in here. It's like, <laughs> it smashed that mirror up. Yeah. Do you need the mirror anymore? But yeah, he tells them like, the, we devise the thing where you you need it to want the stone but not use it mm-hmm. and harry's like i don't want to use it because harry is you know he's already rich so what does he need more gold for <sighs> god forbid he gives some gold to his friend ron or hermione yeah hit the, yeah uh yeah you know what you, they're doing the same thing harry's at his place and they left him there to rot so now harry's doing it to other people like, How like the Weasleys are poor as shit. Did the goblins know that the stone was in their vaults? Yeah. Well, uh, only a few of them did. Oh, man. They were probably taking that thing out all the time, just making gold. Oh, <laughs> like, <God>. constantly. <laughs> Who's keeping track of it? Track of it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, Harry's mom put a protective spell on Harry, and it was yeah, the when power, she of love. Herself. power of love. Power of love. Yes. Uh, Yeah, and that's why Voldemort couldn't touch him. And then I forgot to take notes for the end of the movie. How did it end? Oh my god! Uh, So then they forgot how it ended. Idiot! Did you even watch it? (laughs) No, I did. I I cannot recall the last like five minutes. It's the the great halls. The very end. It's the last school day. Right. 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 And they're announcing who won. Everything's in uh, the green and silver because Slytherin won the house cop or whatever and okay. then Dumbledore's like oh well I have some last minute announcements and fucking rob Slytherin of their rightful trophy agreed literally his favoritism it's so it's you know bullshit what? they went through the ballot boxes again they found those <laughs> <laughs> they found those in votes, and they, they got they put the rightful team back on. Yeah. You know what? This but like is, all three of them get freaking house points, and then guys, Neville gets like the this extra, is the like, problem ten. with voting by Al. Okay, it's <laughs> not it's it's not reliable. I think we can all agree we should not be voting by Al. Okay. <laughs> anyway, then they say freaking Gryffindor wins, and they change everything to stupid ass red and well, gold because no, they counted all the points up. And they were like they were tied, tied or whatever. And then and Neville then gets the points. Neville gets yeah. the points it's for like standing five up. Five or ten. His yeah. Friends. Ten. Yes. And then they win. Bullshit. And what do they win? Who knows? The house yes. cup. The house cup, whatever. <laughs> and then is. and then Harry Potter goes home. Yeah. Yeah. He gets on a train. And this, uh, as Sean from Movie Dumpster, our good friend, has brought up, mm-hmm. uh, this was the first thing they actually filmed. Oh, okay. With them getting on the train and stuff. And that's why he's like, uh, uh. He's like, what's he say? He says, oh, I'm not really going home. It's like the worst thing ever. Like, that's his first acting experience ever. I'm not going home. Not really. So, I'm not really going home. Not really. Not really. So why didn't... Da, 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 so Hogwarts da, da, can't just have him, like, stay there? Da, da, da. Do you want to stay at school all year? Speaking of Star Wars, who 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 composed this movie? John Williams. John Williams. There you go. But just this one? Two. two? First two. Okay. Um, yeah, what are the what what are the teachers doing the rest of the year? Are they off going out and doing their magic? own homes? What do they do there? Teacher shit? What do you think? Teachers stay at school it's all like, year? It's like summer school. Yeah. Like, it's like summer. Do they have other jobs? Like what does Cat Lady do when she's in the workforce, I like freaking no, it's, it's only two or three months. It's, yeah, it's, it's, like it's a teacher. Yeah, but I'm saying, what do they do the rest of the year? What are they using their magic for? Just just hanging out. Who gives a shit? What it's teachers, so stupid. What, what the fuck do teachers do? When yeah, they're not? you know what? Voldemort had it right. We have all the wow. wow. <laughs> He's like, wow. we have all wow. this, we have all this wow. power. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you At see. Least he had a, you see. You know what? You see now. Voldemort did nothing wrong. Yeah. What is the point? What the hell? 
know. What is the point of teaching these people all this magic if the only thing you ever do is just keep it secret and teach more magic and oh never do anything with it? Voldemort's like, you know what? I have goals. I have uh, plans that I'm trying to accomplish, trying to expand. You're kind of go, you're going full Sith here. Yeah. Now, if we look at the good book. Okay. Jesus. You actually find exactly. out. Jesus. In the good book, you find out that Dumb It Down, uh, uh, who's like Dumbledore, turns out to be the ar- the author of Harry Polarity. <gasps> so it's like J.K. K. Rowling becomes the ultimate enemy that they have to defeat. Well, this book was ahead of its time. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, that was Harry Potter 1. Overrated. You're overrated. It's overrated. You're overrated. It was lame then. You're lame. It's lame now. You're the lame. only people who like it are people who are into the books. It has not aged well. You haven't aged well, which is true. Which is yeah, that is true. This this oh, this it. is this is the Tony from Hack the Movies of movies. Uh, <laughs> wow, <laughs> it looked it looked okay at the time, and it aged very poorly. <laughs> huh. But Woo. it's also very famous, and a lot of the people hate the creator. <laughs> so it's the Tony from Hack the Movies of movies. Um, yeah, no, it's it's totally overrated. Some of the later ones are okay. From what I remember, uh, but this is this is so like you needed to know the book or had been interested in the books to appreciate this. Like I did not care yeah. about this when it came out. I did not care about it now. I got a bag and board in my comic. Yeah. If uh, if I ever for some reason have kids, they will not be <laughs> consuming this garbage. If you have kids, I'm calling the police. <laughs> That's a really mean thing. <laughs> Johanna, she's going into labor. I'm calling the cops. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> just take the baby as soon as it's out. <laughs> child abuse. It's like, the child doesn't exist yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's overrated. Uh, don't watch it. Um, please stop watching it. It's been 20 years. And you know what? we Guys, we need a magic spell on the door to the store because when the light's on it's supposed to keep people out but then here Tony you can do it people will just walk into the studio when we're recording even though the magic light is on shitting on Harry Potter yes I am I'm sorry I'm sorry the uh the magical reveal the person behind the camera (laughs) (laughs) oh no it's Ryan okay Ow. Ryan, I, just, I sat in this room over here. Right, 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 right. Shit. Please get on a mic. Okay. I learned. I learned that yeah. podcasts What's are that? bad when someone is just yelling off. Tony, yes, yes, Tony. Ryan. Okay, I've been sitting in the other room <laughs> this entire time. Yes, listening to you sit <laughs> shit on this childhood <laughs> classic movie. I've made a lot a of generation good of children. I made Did a lot you? of good points. Did you? Yes. I, I heard you shitting on the, the, the sorting hat. How dare you? <laughs> yeah, the sorting hat you, looks terrible. You have a problem with you have a problem with Quidditch? <laughs> yes. What college what? Quidditch. I have a problem with college Quidditch. Uh, yeah, me too. It's not yeah. a real sport. No. Yeah. <laughs> it, right. That's yeah. what we were shitting Did on. You, you, it's not. Were you ever on a campus and saw guys running around with brooms? Oh, that's the worst. Like all the like. Uh, the, no. No, that that's was awful. terrible. <laughs> but but this, this has got everything. It's got Ron. It's got Harry, Hermione. Like, they can't act how? in this movie. The children. They've gone on to learn to act. <sighs> uh, the CGI is bad. Uh, the CGI is bad. The ghosts are stupid. The, stupid. the dog is dumb. Like, everything's bad. It's not dumb. Is nearly headless Nick in this yes, one? Yes, he is. Nearly headless Nick. Yes, and it's a wonderful actor, John Cleese, who I love, and he's phoning it in. Uh, John Hurt does a good job in his cameo. I'll give John Hurt. But even watching the other thing is the other other thing is there are many many Hufflepuffs and Ravenclaw. Yeah, I I think and you know you know Slytherin Slytherin is not necessarily evil. Well, it's 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 a that's an analytical state of mind. I'm just well, thank you for jumping in last minute. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I uh, I have so many problems. You will see me in the (laughs) premiere chat. You will hear from me, and I will set the record straight. Wait, Ryan, real quick, before you leave. Uh, do you know of any good gaming podcasts that come out every Friday? Every Friday, yes. Talk about games. Whoa, who is on that show, Ryan? It's me and our good friend, Mike Mate. Mike Mate, people love when he's on this show. They keep saying they want to see more of him. Yeah. 
So you can see him every Friday on Talk About Games. And we don't shit on Harry Potter. <laughs> anyway, Bye, Tony. goodbye, Ryan. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this show and talk about God damn it. Every time he closes the door, a piece of the ceiling falls. When are we getting out of this building? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen Ryan close a door normally. I've seen him slam the bathroom door. I've seen him slam this door. I've seen him slam his office door. Yeah. It terrifies me each every time. time like, oh, door, God. <laughs> every time the door slams, a piece of dust like falls off the ceiling. So anyway, that is it from us. Like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I got to I gotta get back to doing voicemails. I think I'm back to doing them. Uh, yeah. And check out all our other podcasts on our network. Uh, yeah. Follow Johanna to learn more about Harry Potter shit. Uh, follow J.K. Rowling. Uh, no. Bomb tweets. Uh, yeah. I got to lose some weight so I can go on the Harry Potter rides. And yeah, encourage Justin to lose weight just oh, so he can go on the Harry Potter Speaking of which, like, I'm actually like, you know, kind of like taller than Johanna, but my, my I, I push the seat down too much. That's what happened so with I Karen, too. Look, I kind of look like, Justin, like I'm, I'm super You look like a little goblin, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is done. For stone. Wizarding Justin, effect. Justin. Go. <laughs> Wait, real quick. <laughs> Justin, all I want is for you to lose a lot of weight. Yeah. And then you go to celebrate at uh, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. You get on that ride mm -hmm. and you just fucking have a heart attack. <laughs> Like, dude, well, dude, dude, I would love I would love to just come out. It's like the euthanasia coaster. I want to get on Harry Potter and come out a fucking corpse. That'd be awesome. That's it from us. Goodbye. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page. Talking about tapes. <laughs>